Adams, Hernando de Soto. First Florida man, first Florida man was Hernando de Soto. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are y'all doing today? Uh oh, did my no, it didn't. I thought my microphone died. That would have been bad. How's everybody doing today? Let me pull up the chat so I can say hi to you guys. Christo, good to see you. Hey, Christo, I just wanted to mention, well, you're here because I don't know if you're going to be here for this whole thing. But next Friday, we're going to do a game night. So keep an eye open for that. Society Red, good to see you. Yo, mama, always a pleasure. Let's get right into it. So I saw a story this week and it actually happened in July, but it made me so angry that I decided we have to do a crime land uh, today. So that's what we're doing. It's about, uh, we'll get to it in a couple of stories, but it's about somebody who left their child in a car in Arizona in July, which is crazy. We'll get to that in a minute. I pulled up the body cam. We're going to watch the whole thing. And Mandy Thomas is here. Mandy, hello. Good to see you. Speaking of, I happen to have uh, Mandy Thomas's doggo here. Can we see him? Um, Benny. <laughs> Benny. All right. Let's give the dogs a treat. As you guys know, Puppo's Puppers get a treat every time you guys donate or uh, support the show in any way. So we obviously have Zena, who's the star of the show right here. There she is. We have Ava here, but we also have a special guest appearance by Benny. Let's give them a treat to start the show. Why does their camera look so weird? They almost look black and white. It's very odd. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's put some music on before I do all this. Let's do that real quick. And then we'll get into all the crime stories. I got to get Benny on air. All right. There's Ava. There's Zena. Hey, Benny, come. you back up, back up, back up. There, go back, back up. Benny, come here. No, come. Ava, sit. Benny, come on. Here, Benny, right here. There he is. There you go. You don't like the milk bones? I don't know if Benny likes the milk bones, but we tried. Benny's such a good boy. Isn't that right, Benny? All right. So to the stories, we're going to start out with a former sheriff named Jamie Knoll expected in court Monday to plead guilty to crimes, prosecutors say. This is in Louisville, Kentucky. Attorneys for former Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll have filed a motion requesting a change of plea. Knoll has previously uh, pled not guilty to 31 felonies. The change of plea hearing is now scheduled for 11 a.m. on Monday, August 26. So this is from a couple of weeks ago. Let's watch the news report. Barbie Bean has been following that portion of it and tells us what we're expecting to happen in court on Monday. Yeah, thanks, Stefan. So we do know that Jamie Knoll is expected to be back here in court on Monday. And now a special prosecutor on the case tells us that Jamie Knoll during that hearing is expected to plead guilty. Jamie Knoll is facing 31 felony charges related to fraud, misconduct, theft, ghost employment and public corruption. Aside from being the former sheriff in Clark County, Jamie Knoll also led New Chapel Fire and EMS and the Utica Township Volunteer Firefighter Association. The charges Knoll faces are related to allegations that he used millions of dollars from the agencies for his own use. He's accused of using credit cards from the agencies to fund his family's lifestyle. Accusations include using taxpayer money to pay for vacations, Rolex watches, high-end clothing, and more. 
Noel has pleaded not guilty in this case, but in the latest update. Somebody in the chat tell me, is this the guy that was on that TV show about uh, jails, what, 60 Days In? Was this guy on 60 Days In as the sheriff? Uh, remind me, because he looks very familiar, and I think I haven't had cable in a long time, but when I did have cable when that show first came out, I saw, I think, maybe the first two seasons of that show before I got rid of cable. So um, let me know if that's the guy. Date. We're now learning about this change of plea hearing in just a few days. Special Prosecutor Rick Hurdle says Noel will be admitting guilt Monday, and a sentencing date will be set. Noel's wife, Misty, who has filed for divorce, and his daughter, Casey, are both facing multiple charges for theft and tax evasion. They have pleaded not guilty and have asked to have their cases combined. Jamie Noel is currently in jail on a $1.5 million bond. We've made several phone calls today trying to reach out to people about this case, including Jamie Knowles' attorney, Larry Wilder, who said, see you Monday. That's the answer we're getting from a lot of people is that they will not talk until after court on Monday. But that's a place we will be right here in court Monday following this case and any updates that come between now and then as well. We'll send it back to you all in the studio and continue to keep you updated tonight throughout our newscast also. All right, Darby and Stefan, thank you both. Thanks, Darby. Appreciate the report. All right, let's get into the main story for today. We're going to need Xena on screen for this one because it's a tough one to get through, and she's the sweetest, best snuggler that I have. Ooh. Distracted, big air quotes on that, dad who binged PlayStation as two-year-old died in 109-degree heat uh, was warned to stop leaving them in the car. Uh, so I looked up, I went to, you know, on um, the website Weather Underground, you can pull up the historical data for weather. It was actually 111 was the high that day in Tucson, Arizona in July. Disturbing new details have emerged in the case of a 37-year-old father of three in Arizona accused of killing his two-year-old daughter last week when she was left in a hot car amid triple-digit temperatures. Christopher Schultz allegedly uh, forgot that he had left young Parker Schultz sleeping inside the family's 2023 Acura MDX for several hours because he got distracted playing video games. <sighs> I'm so mad. Do you guys remember when I um, covered that case here out of Georgia? What was that guy's name? Ross. Um, something Harris Ross. That guy. Holy cannoli. Same situation. I don't think this guy was distracted. Let's watch the news story about it. And it looks like Thank you very much, Erica, for the gift memberships. Love it. Love to see it. We will give the doggos some treats uh, when we're done with this news story. Breaking update to just a really sad story out of southern Arizona. Police have arrested the father of a two-year-old who died after being left in a hot car in Marana, which is just north of Tucson. Christopher Schultz is now facing second-degree murder and child abuse charges. This happened on Tuesday. Officers responded to a call of an unresponsive child in that car. The dad told investigators he left his daughter in the car on purpose so she could sleep, but he thought the car was on with the air conditioning. But then when the child's mother got home, she found the car off and the two-year-old was unconscious. We'll keep you updated on any developments in this Crazy. case as well. Crazy. Um, that's nuts to leave your child or animal, uh, for that matter, in the car for even a couple of minutes in Arizona. Insane. All right, let's get, let's get this, these dogs some treats and then we're going to watch the body cam of this guy getting arrested. It's so infuriating. Thank you very much, Erica, for the five gifted memberships. I appreciate that so very much. Uh, Zena, Erica loves you very much. Uh, Surrender Monkey, Frauditor Watch, Mag D5, me, 
and D-Man. Thank you very much uh, for being here. And welcome to the membership program. We're doing game night Friday night, uh, this coming up Friday. So pay attention to the community tab for that. All members are welcome to join in and play. Tina, that's for you. Uh, Benny is not liking these milk bones, so he's just going to have a stack of treats stacked up until uh, Ava goes over there and steals them. There's another one for you. And Ava. Thank you, thank you. Why is everything so crooked? We're getting there. All right. Thank you very much, Erica. I appreciate it. We got everything situated. All right. So this is the body cam of this guy um, getting arrested. It's a little long. We'll pause it from time to time and do a little commentary on it. But I want you to pay attention to the difference of reaction that this guy has from when he finds out that his child is dead to when he finds out that he's being arrested. The emotions, and, and everybody reacts differently to different things, but I find it very curious. There's no uh, audio for the first... 30 seconds, of course, that's how body cam always is. It, it really, this sort of thing drives me nuts because it's so preventable. And it's Arizona in July. I don't understand leaving your kids in the car at all, ever. I know that when I was a kid, my, my parents used to do that. But we had a driveway that was right next to the house. And the windows in the house would be open. We didn't have air conditioning growing up. So the windows in the house would be open and the car windows would be open. So as soon as we started crying, they would bring us in the house. Do you see what I mean? And also it wasn't the middle of summer. It was like spring and fall when it was like 70 degrees outside. Either way, I don't leave my dogs or my kids in the car at all. Not at all. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> a lot of it is blurred, and I don't know why it's blurred right now, but inside people's houses, I notice they blurred a lot. So some of this is blurred just because there's like family photos on the wall and stuff like that. Jenkins, you're on as well? Yep. All right, just making sure. All right, you good? We're not too far into it yet. We're going to say thank you very much to Ron. I appreciate it. We will give all three doggos treats today. We have Benny here, by the way. Extra dog today. He's uh, He misses his mama. Look at how sad he looks. Uh, mama, I know you're watching right now. Benny misses you. We'll give them treats right now. Say that real quick. Um, so, 
remember how I talked. Can we do this maybe out here so the kiddos don't have to hear? Are they? Here, one is sleeping and one is next oh. um, So remember how we talked about the investigation and things that would transpire. Uh -huh. Okay. And I told you I'm always going to tell you guys the truth. There's no, I'm, there's no secrets here, right? Uh -huh. So based off of our investigation at this point, right, we have determined that there's probable cause to go ahead and charge you for what happened. Okay. Let's come out here, Christopher. No. It's okay. It's okay. No. Okay. okay. So no. listen. Listen. No. Listen. Okay. No. This doesn't change. Really like, by the way, he was not this upset when he found out his kid was dead. Now he's collapsed to the floor because he's getting arrested. <laughs> this doesn't change what, what's going on. Okay. What happens at this point? It's simple. Okay. What happens at this point is you are going to be taken into custody. All right. And you will be booked. And then after your book, you have an initial appearance for the judge within the first 24 hours. Okay. After the first 24 hours, right, the judge will determine bond and things like that as far as what happens next. At that point, the case goes to the courts. It'll be between you, it'll be between your attorneys, and it'll be between the, the, the county prosecutor. So, again, I can't change. The, the consequences of what happened, all right? But what, I, what I'm going to ask of you... Okay. Could I just have you stand up for me, please? Come on, Chris. Let's let's yeah. go out here. Can you grab him some shoes, Chris? No, come on. Come on, Christopher. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. Yeah. Can you say bye to our kids? Okay. I'm not resisting. I know, please. I need you to listen. I need you to listen. Okay. Relax. We will get you. Okay, just relax. And, and these are the options. Okay. The reason I'm here and meeting with you in person. The reason I'm here meeting with you in person is because I don't want this to be anything more than what it needs to be at its base. Let me just tighten them for. Let me uh, double lock them. Don't pull on your hands right now. Kids. I don't want the kids to see dad get hold off. <laughs> That's going to be between you and the kids. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, you're going to do a lot. Here you go. <laughs> Chris, I'm going to be here to take care of everything. I love you. <laughs> Chris, I love you. You're all this. Ha! No heart. No fucking heart at all. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke you with your shoulders? Okay.
I'm never going to like you. It would be horrible if I come up here and... Yeah, the um, circle of death keeps coming up. I'm sorry about that, guys. I would like to welcome number two to the show. I'm glad you could join us. Um, we're just going to watch this body cam for a little bit. I'm glad you're here, too. By the way, number yeah. two, I made us a new intro for many such cases. So maybe we'll do a sneak preview oh, of that I'm while you're here. So excited. I know. I had a lot of energy yeah, this I can't afternoon. Wait. I had a, you did? for some reason, had a lot of energy. So decided to create a whole intro for us. Has it been a great day? Fantastic. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. I think I have too many tabs open. Let's close some stuff down. Okay, no, that's, that's I saw this. I saw this. Body cam. Right. All right. Thank you. Know, it's the worst news aside from what you dealt with her. Let's close Earlier. this. Because I'm being 100% honest and I don't want you to see or think that something different is happening. The reason we're having this go on right now is because it, it has to go for the prescription side. You have my number. If something comes up, you have questions, please reach out. Okay, the reason I wanted to do it in this morning. Let me forward it a little bit. Did you, have you heard of this story before this? I just learned of it this week. It's oh, insane. Right? Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that Justin Harris Ross case that I covered. Yes, do you remember I know. that one? Mm -hmm. I, and I... Like I, I do PlayStation, you're playing PlayStation and you leave your kid in the car in 111 degree heat, yeah. by the way. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't the first time. Yeah. Yep. I got to move some of these tabs and put them in one tab. So it's not doing this anymore. Let's let's do this. I'll let it play and I'll move some tabs and hopefully it'll make it better. So remember how I can we, can we do Oh my goodness. We'll get there, everybody. We'll get there. Maybe if I make it small. Really about the investigation and things that would transpire. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I told you I'm always going to. No, that's not even working. There's no, there's no secrets here, right? So, based off of our investigation at this point. Right? Holy we, cow. This is just driving me nuts. It must be driving you guys nuts because it's driving me nuts. All right, let's just go to this one. Let's go to this one. This is when he finds out. A dad paces and holds his head in despair after his little girl was found unresponsive in his scorching hot car. Please, baby, please. In police body please, cam, baby. you'll see only on Inside Edition, first responders in the room next door are desperately trying to save his two-year-old daughter. You can feel the dad's anguish. Christopher Schultz told cops his daughter Parker was asleep in the car and he didn't want to wake her, so he left the engine running and the engine. Look at how adorable that little girl is with her little curls. Completely. It's just a horrible so situation. AC on. The little girl's mom, a doctor, came home to find the car off and no AC. Parker was unresponsive. How long was she sleeping in the car out there? I want to say it was no more than 30, 45 minutes. And Lies. I don't think her air was off that entire time. I think there was a time in between I had checked on her last, it was still running, she was still sleeping, and then when I went back out, the car was off. The first responders tell the dad his daughter's condition. She's very hot right now. And we're going to do everything we can. The dad again buries his head in his hands. <sighs> oh my God. A police officer tells the dad they have to treat the home as a possible <sighs> come on what are we doing here 
All right, let's make that small. I think I prepped too good of a show for you guys today. That's the problem. <laughs> I mean, do we really need news stories? We could just talk. <laughs> <laughs> a possible crime scene. So I'm being treated like a murderer? Yeah. No. Little Parker yeah, didn't make are. it. Three Holy cannoli. Days later, cops returned to the home and arrested Christopher Schultz. He fell to his knees when he was told... Okay, well, we saw that part already where he falls to his knees. Anyway, long story mm -hmm. short, screw that, screw that guy, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Let's see if this one will play now. Yep. And and apparently the kids um, told the police that he did it all the time. Well, he here's the thing the is they, um, first of all, it's a hundred and they said nine. I looked on the thing. It's a, it was 111 that day. So even leaving your kid in the yeah. car for a couple of minutes, you are literally baking them. You're like yes. the, the, we have a smoker out back. Dave actually Cooking is smoking. Your child is smoking a pork roast right now. I can smell the smoke, but um, yes, literally the car will get as hot as that smoker out back. You're, uh, uh, ah, I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> it's insane. I, I know. I know. I know the in in regular like eighty five degree mm -hmm. summer heat like they they do tests to see how hot it is for like animals and stuff mm -hmm. and I think after like fifteen minutes it gets to uh, like one hundred and forty degrees in the car. It was and in the sun too. It wasn't imagine, even in the shade. Yeah. Imagine how hot it was for that poor baby. Mm -hmm. Imagine the agony she went through. I've been to Amen. Arizona in the summertime. I don't recommend it. But I will tell you, yeah. even just out standing in the sun, not in a car that's baking you, it's too hot to just exist. It is way too hot right. not to be like either yeah. in a swimming pool or in the shade or something like that. Right. It's so sad. Oh, Let's come out here, Christopher. No. It's okay. It's okay. No. Okay. Yeah. So, no. listen. Nobody no. feels bad no. for you, buddy. Listen. No. This doesn't change. <laughs> this doesn't change what what's going on. Okay. No. What happens at this point? It's simple. Okay. What happens at this point? Oh my is gosh. You are going to be taken in custody. All right, and you will be booked, and then after you are booked, you have. Oh my gosh, yeah, I Mr. need help Zed with my said, Mr. Zed said, if you have 110 outside temp, the inside of the car is 160 plus. I I would venture to say way, way more than 160 degrees. Especially if it's in the direct sunlight, which it the was. Sun. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Both parents with the judge within the first 24 hours. Okay. After the first 24 hours, right, the judge will determine bond and things like that as far as what happens next. At that point, the case goes to the courts. It'll be between you, it'll be between your attorneys, and it'll be between the, the county prosecutor. Okay. So, again, I can't change the, the consequences of what happened. All right. But what I what I'm going to ask of you? Oh, make up. Okay. Can I just have you stand here? Let, come on, Chris. Let's let's go on her. Can you grab him some shoes, please? No, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say bye to her again? Bye. Bye. I'm not resisting. I just relax. Just relax. Just relax. We will get you shoes. Just relax. And, and these are the options, okay? 
the reason I'm here and meeting with you in person. The reason I'm here meeting with you in person is because I don't want this to be anything more than what it needs to be. At so, to see you guys too, we're trying to make this want as little of a scene as possible. This is so heartbreaking that I'm literally tearing up right now. I had to like turn my camera off for a second because I was like starting to weep. So, I don't, I don't think we could wait till after the funeral. I don't want the kids to see that. By the way, you're frozen, number two. Maybe turn your. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Dad, get hold on. Seriously, my husband. That's gonna be between you and the two. Oh, can I give him a kiss? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to touch him. Oh, fuck. I love I don't understand this wife consoling him right now. I don't get. He killed your child, ma'am. What are you doing? Chris, <laughs> Chris, I'm gonna be here and I'll take care of everything. I love you. <laughs> Seriously, the funeral is kind of fuck. No heart, no fucking heart at all. Yeah. Okay, I didn't watch this far into the video yet. The wife is saying that the police have no heart because they're arresting him before the child's funeral. This is insane to me. Like, let me know if you guys think I'm I'm the crazy one. But for her to be upset that they're arresting the husband who killed your two-year-old daughter, by the way, after uh, reports say that she has found that... He um, he had left her in the car previously with the air conditioner on and she told him, don't do that. Don't leave the kid in the car. Wake her up. Bring her in the house. Also, by the way, two year olds will sleep through you moving them from one place to another. They'll sleep right through it. They're out when they're out. They're out. It's not like you're going to wake her up. And even if you do wake her up, then what you have to parent for a few hours. What the heck? Anyway, I don't know how much of this you saw, number two, because you, you disappeared. But the wife is upset at the cops for arresting him before the funeral. Like the oh, wife is, no. cons is consoling him and calling the cops heartless for arresting him. It's she, crazy. At one point, after, after the kid died, she texted him and said, I told you to stop leaving the kids in the car. So yeah. how could she be upset? How could I, she be upset? No, this whole situation is bad. In some sort of denial at she's the moment. Be. Like maybe it'll take be. her a, a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. Hey, at least the video was playing and wasn't <laughs> like <laughs> there's, there's there's something. <gasps> yeah. Do you have anything inside your pocket? Okay. Anything on you that's going to help stick your stab us? No. Okay. Yeah, I was mean. Ah, ha, ha. 
I don't know if I agree with Mr. Zed's take that she's culpable because she knew he was doing it in the past. Because if he was doing it in the past and she said, don't do that, it's not like she said, oh, you're leaving her in the car with the car running. That's fine. She didn't say that. So I don't think that's culpability. In my opinion, um, I think the fact that she said, don't do this, and he still did it. Like, he's his own person, and she did not, uh, she did not say it's okay to do that so you see what i'm saying yeah i i think she's a a dumbass for being upset at the cops for sure but i don't think she i can i can see what i can see your point i don't think she's for sure she's a dumbass yeah for but i also think that she just lost a child like i'm trying to give her the benefit of that she just lost a child and um she just lost a husband too this is her husband and I understand her, I understand it taking time for everything to sink in. They hadn't even had the funeral yet. So it, you know, it was not very long yeah. after this happened. So I think it takes time for everything to, to sink in. And like when your life is changing that much, it might take time for like everything to sink in. I think the point they're making, uh, like Mr. Zed and Erica are saying, is that they knew because they also knew that their car had that safety feature where, not safety feature, but they had that feature where the engine shut off. By the way, dumbass feature. It's all because of the environmentalists want it yeah. to show you can't leave it running which mm-hmm. is insane to me you should be able to control whether your car is on or not also yeah. Yeah. if you are going to do set an alarm on like you know it turns off in 30 minutes they had this discussion in the past so he knows that because him and the wife discussed it set a timer on your phone every 30 minutes and go check on your kid make sure you know oh, what i mean don't leave your kid in I, the car I, obviously that's what you, you don't yeah. leave your kid in the car but yeah. This is nuts. Yeah. Here, I know these are new okay, no, that's, that's, that's not how we operate. That's not how I operate. I'm telling you these things, even though it's the worst news, aside from what you've dealt with earlier, because I'm being 100% honest and I don't want you to be deceived or think that something different is happening. The reason we're having this go on right now is because of the way it has to go forward. Okay. You have me. You have my number. If something comes up, if you have questions, please reach out. Okay. The reason I wanted to do it in this morning is because I don't want any more. Okay. Um, let them know that you know you can keep it simple. Dad had to go with the police officers. He's uh, addressing some things with what happened. And I'm not sure if he covered it, but he may not be held. It's it's up to the judge whether or not he's held. So there's he doesn't, possibility. It's not like he's, he has an empire history and things like that. They take this into consideration. And obviously they take into consideration the family dynamics of what's going on. Okay, thank you guys. Okay. Let's see if he says anything on the way to the... No, it's just silent. And the wife's a doctor, by the way. Yeah, an ER doctor. I don't know where we're watching. Oh, this is just another angle of the arrest. This may be out here so the kiddos don't. Know. Okay, so let's move on because I'm I'm very upset about this case. I know, so, I know. Do you want to be even more pissed off? I got another one. Oh, I can't wait. Have you seen this one? I don't know what this one is. Um, this is, let's give you the little TLDR. This guy, um, had a child, like he was staying with, I think his sister or somebody and his sister's daughter had a sleepover and this guy kidnapped a kid and brought it to this other guy's house. And the other guy's like, Whoa, what are you doing? Let's watch the video. It's insane. Mm. By the way, you need to be cognizant of who's around your children, whether it's your husband who's going to leave them in a hot car in 111 degree heat or somebody like this. Let's pay attention to the kiddos, guys. 
This is my like one of my biggest fears. Dad! Oh no. Dad! Dad! Teach your children to bite and poke people in the eyes at the youngest age possible. The youngest age possible. Jeez, dude. Dad! What are you doing? Says. What are you doing? Help me, dude. What the f is that? What the f are you doing? Hey, it's a little girl. No! What are you doing? Hey, you fucking, man, get the f off! Help me, dude! Help me! Help me! Help me! Who's that? Come here! Come here! No! Come here! Dude! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! I wasn't kidding! I'm gonna kill you! Dude, I'm gonna kill you! Dude, I'm gonna kill you! Dude, I'm gonna kill you! Go in the house, go in the house, go in the house. Hey man, what the f? Go in the house. Okay, yes, go in the house. Okay, sorry to pause it, but I want to address this. Surrender Monkey is asking about this last video um, leaving your child unattended as an environmentalist issue. What I'm saying is new cars, newer cars, shut off automatically after 30 minutes because the environmentalists passed laws or had laws passed to where it can't just stay running um, unattended. So I'm not saying that leaving your car, like I, I may have misspoke, so I want to clear it up. What I'm saying is you should be able to control whether your car is on or not. It shouldn't automatically turn off and the reason they do automatically turn off now is because there was um laws passed for auto manufacturers to make it so they're you can't turn that feature off is what i'm saying you should be able to turn that feature off if you wanted to yeah if you wanted to exactly it just be an automatic thing just like yeah. child locks on doors you can turn Ex them on or off exactly exactly i understand safety issues yes. but you know, that's all, yeah. that's all I was saying is I should be able to control if my car turns off or not. Okay, so yeah. back to this one. Thank goodness that the person whose house oh he went to is a good person and saved the child, right? Like, imagine if it was another scumbag. What would have happened? I was not ready for that. Did you see me? I did. You were in shock. <laughs> in shock. I was not ready for that. Well, this gentleman whose house, I think his name is Ed or Zed, can't tell. He was yelling it, but ends up holding this guy at gunpoint till the cops get here. Hero. This man is a freaking hero. Grabs the kid from him and holds the guy there. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. You're fine here. I'm not going. No, go. Get the out of here. Dude, let me kill you. Get in here. No. What the f is going on? Huh? You what? Who is this? That's What the f is you doing? Is this again? It's me, Joe. Hold on. Listen. He he slinging his wrist. It's Joseph. You're muted. Why is this lady leaving the kid on the porch with that guy still out there? Like, bring her in the house. Bring her in the house. What? Like, he, they both just walked inside. What are they doing? I will give Zena a treat. I'm sorry I was muted. I got very excited. It's Joseph's. Come here. It's Joseph's. Stop. Get dressed. My name is Joseph's. Dressed. And I did not try to... We know you didn't. Go get dressed. Now. And then you get... On March 2nd, 2024, officers were dispatched to a residence following a report of a fight. It was alleged that the brother of a neighboring resident had abducted a young girl from her home and taken her to a nearby house. The girl's absence was discovered when a family member came downstairs, noticed she was missing, and heard shouting outside. Upon their arrival, officers found the man still on the porch, being held at gunpoint by a resident until they took control of the situation.
It's only one of me, y'all. I get that, but it's only one of me. They talk about it's a gun. I need to make sure that the scene is safe. Okay, I don't. Can we talk about this cop real quick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's only one of me. I'm not gonna come up there because there's a gun involved. What are we doing, officer? <laughs> there, a little eight-year-old girl just got kidnapped. What are we doing? There's only one of me. Guess what? You have a gun too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> like what? They're yeah. yelling, "Help! Help! Help!" And he's like, "I'm not going over there. Looks too dangerous." There's, there's only one. <laughs> listen, what? listen. There's only one of me. Holy cow! And and the, this is not even the woman that came over there to. It's not even the mom. It's this is the mom of the friend whose house they were staying over at. Like I can't even imagine. Like I dog sit people's dogs all the time, and I get upset if the dog like chips a nail. I like I feel so horrible because the dog isn't like. Imagine yeah if you were had a kid at your home that you are in charge of keeping safe and they get kidnapped by a half naked dude. Oh no. How do you explain that? Oh, I don't no, no. like it's. <sighs> yeah. Nope. Know that. So I just did. chill. I did it. Okay. My Let me do my job. My I put it up. Shut the up talking to me. He don't got no gun though. No, he uh, don't have the gun. Cool, go go back inside. Let me chill. Let me figure out what's going on. Seventeen. Anybody in route could slow down. Nobody has a gun right now. I have the mail right here on the porch. I apologize for that. Stand up. Stand up. Seventeen. I copy. Bitch, bro. Dude is in his drawers, stealing an eight-year-old girl. What was he planning on doing? Oh my God. Oh my God! I'm, listen, I'm not the one. All right, hey, I'm Joseph. Already wanted. I'm helping you. Thank God for this God. guy. This, guy. this guy's a hero. I want to he start is... a GoFundMe for this guy, and like, like this guy needs to be hailed as a hero. Not only did he go out there, grab the kid, make sure the the girl is safe, and then holds the guy there at gunpoint, and and. He could have got shot. He's holding a gun. He put his own life at risk when he calls the cops and he's the one holding the gun, right? Have you, have you we've seen numerous body, you know, not just body cam videos, but but videos in general of people on drugs that have superhuman strength. Oh, yeah. Crazy. So you have no idea what this person is mm -hmm. capable of. Yeah. And he on the floor. did that. So. Yeah. Good. And he, not only did he do that, he brought this girl to somebody like it was a trophy. Like this girl oh, was a my trophy. Gosh, what was he? Yeah. Oh, no. Lou, <sighs> unloosen your hands. I will help him do it. Who is he to you? Nobody you know, that's me. my best friend. I help. That's my best bro, friend. Chill hey, out. You, bro, no. All right, listen. You know that's him? my neighbor. That's your neighbor. That's my neighbor's brother. Okay. He did yard work for me and everything. Uh huh. For some reason, he came to me with a little girl tonight. Help me, man. Where the little girl at? Right here. In the right house. house. Y'all don't know her. Kayla. No. Right. She been spending. Help me, dude. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Just, Just give me, give me a minute. Go ahead. Yeah. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Quit tensing up. All right, dude. You guys saw that shit, right? Uh, saw what? Chill out. Okay. Chill why are you out. To, why are you trying to? Why you keep tensing up? What? Chill out. Twenty-four. Help me, sir. Twenty-four. Oh, chill. Hey, chill. Katie, you're muted again, no, ma'am. I know. Oh. <laughs> watch this and let me know if you think this guy is just crazy or if he's on something or both I, could I I think he's probably on something I think or I think, or he's crazy or he's both like off of his meds yeah possibly gonna, both 
give Zena a treat because I talked muted again. He's probably She's... off his meds and medicating with something. Like, you guys don't even need to donate for Zena to get treats today. I'm just so off my game that I'm just going to, every time I talk, be <laughs> muted. By the way, the rules around here are that if I speak with my mic muted, Zena gets a, a treat. Also, <laughs> if you donate, if you do a super chat or rumble rant, let me know if somebody does a, somebody watch Rumble because if when I have Rumble up, it's like not playing the video, so I had to shut it down. Let me know if somebody does a Rumble rant. If you uh, purchase a T-shirt from KDZ.com or a coffee mug, uh, Zena gets a treat for all of those things. Chill out! Stop! 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 The, the proper verbiage is quit resisting arrest yeah not too chill, chill out 24 all right all right how are your legs out i gotta start Straight you guys six is district 13093 for domestic 10 between brother and sister sister has a knife female <laughs> state my name is joseph are you hearing the call for the next call like a brother and sister are fighting and the sister has a knife like, nice what is happening in this town right now holy cannoli i don't know what my name is joseph this happened i don't care this which one in is. march yeah of this year help me help me please what nice. my name what's my name What's my name? Joseph. Your name's Joseph. You told us Yeah, that. you said it several times. No. <laughs> Tell me, please. He's got to be cold Tell on that pavement. They're wrapping him up like a mummy right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's got to be cold. There's no leaves on the trees. It's March, and it yeah. looks wet on that ground. It's wet, yeah. <laughs> Help! Moving! Help! 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 Help me! Help! 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 It reminds me, I think it's like Tom and Jerry or something. Help! They do that. Help! 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 We may decide to have one. I'm not sure if they came back over here. Run it off. Help! 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 You got me? No, I got you, but you gotta chill out. He looks like a parachute. Are they gonna drop him from a plane? I wouldn't mind. Can we? Can we watch? That? Can we live stream it? <laughs> I say we just, you know. Wrap him up like that. Throw him in the bay. To see if he floats. We could tell if he's a witch if he floats. <laughs> exactly. That's it. <laughs> Hello, Screwed Up Rebellion. Oh! They, put oh! a, they put a helmet on him. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to be laughing at the situation. You remember it's great. the great. I but mean this, to be laughing at it. I do. If I didn't have that hot car thing that pissed me off so much, this right here would be the thumbnail. This, mm -hmm. <laughs> this guy in the helmet wrapped he up like a mummy. Yeah, he deserves like, all this. Put a spit hood over him, too. I know he hasn't spit yet, but let's just, I mean, cover your bases. Let's, let's do it all. Yeah. Help! Help! Calm down, bud. Take a breath. You got All right. You're good. You're good. You're good. Look, you can't yourself. Look at that. You got it. You're safe, man. Look at that. Feel that? That's comfortable, right? No. 
That's what they are. That's comfortable, that's comfortable right? right? <laughs> no. No. They're, they're in Akron, Ohio, by the way, in March. Yeah. So it's the beginning of March. Warm. No. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Huh? Yep, man. Take a deep breath. Good. Thank you. Help! You're so good. Help! You're so good. Help! Help! You're so good. Help! You gotta put him on the seat. Help! He ain't on the seat. Thank you. Thank you. Help! What's that for, man? Put that in. Yo, my man. You, you gotta. Uh, what information y'all need, though? Yo, uh, this one, that all man's a it. hero. That all man, of it. give me all the information. This guy is a hero. Hero. Mm -hmm. Look yes. at him. This is a hero right here. So screwed For up. Sure. I know you just got here, but uh, the the help thank you guy was at. He's staying at his sister's house and his sister's daughter, eight year old, is having a sleepover with one of her friends. This dude at 441 a.m. grabs the girl who's sleeping over and brings him to dude's house saying, hey, I got a little girl. Uh, Hero grabbed the little girl from him, returned it to the, the sister who, whose house it is and held the help guy at gunpoint till the police got there mm -hmm. absolute legend thank you Kim. Yep. good dude thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Ah! what is ah! going what's that for man pull that in yo my man you you gotta uh what information y'all need though yo uh this your name birthday why because you don't want to follow him up here you don't want to have him at gunpoint and he just brought the little girl over here. Whoa. What little girl? That's in the house. And he brought me a little girl. From where? From. From your sister. That's your sister. That's his sister. Okay, so. The little girl was spending the night with her and her kids. And he kidnapped the little girl and brought it to me for some reason. And I banged on my door and when I came out, she was screaming. And I snatched him. Snatched her from him. And... I don't, I, I don't own a weapon, but you ain't in trouble or nothing, my man. Yeah. So listen. So, so what are you? Oh, um, that's my daughter. My daughter's still sleeping. Graceland, show me your Wait, 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 wait. You're just talking to her. Yeah, yeah, we're not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he's not part of it. Um. She's staying the night with my friends, and my brother, I guess, picked her up. I heard. I heard something, and then I heard the door closed, and then I heard my brother yelling at the same. So that's your brother? Help, yeah. Okay. The one that was... Does he have he has mental severe, issues? He has, he has severe mental issues. Well, he has the mental issues because he has brain damage. Okay. Um, a lot of bad, heavy stuff that fell on his head. So that, and he, did, he doesn't know that he has this problem. And I tried to get him help, but nobody will listen to me. Nobody will... Do it, you know, help him out. He right. wants help. How about not have him at your house? Brain damage. He needs. Okay, so she knows that he has mental issues and brain damage. Why do you have him at your house with when you have children there? Oh, what? He's he lives at her house. Why? Oh, Why? My you have kids. Gosh, a absolutely not. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There insane. is no way. Because sometimes when it must click in that he's doing something wrong, he so he tries to help or he okay. wants help, but no one will help him because they don't see the whole thing. I guess I don't know, but it's not my brother. Well, you need okay. to document so, every single thing. What time did this? Why, why I don't understand. Don't document and kick his ass out. Although he's gone now, he's going to prison, I assume, for a while. You can't kidnap a kid and not go to prison, right? Is oh, he going to claim mental? Oh, uh, this is... Like, uh, can we bring back insane asylums? Can we bring them state I swear, I wish they would, because there are way too many walking around. 
they need uh, I Way think it would, too many. not only would it help people who actually needed help and need there's a lot of people who are homeless who actually would be um good members of society if they were on the proper medication if we bring back yeah. state funded mental institutions you're absolutely right they could get the medication that they need they could get the the assistance in filling out the paperwork to get medicare or medicaid or whatever they're eligible for mm -hmm. and not only that it would be less scary walking down the streets of atlanta or la yeah. or chicago or indianapolis or wherever you happen to live where I'm sure you've noticed if you live anywhere near a big city, I'm sure you've noticed in the last eight years or so, the yeah. number of homeless people going up and up and up and up. And it's because they don't have the funding or facilities. And I think state, instead of building these tiny homes, and, which by the way, the little tiny homes that they're building in LA, they're a, like $130,000. Yeah. For a for a one room home. And yeah. Yep. What are we doing? What I, like, I know. I know. Bring it's down crazy. the housing costs. A and B. Make sure people are on the correct medication that they need to be on. It is crazy the amount of quote unquote affordable housing that is going up, and it's not affordable. No. No. And it is go like. Farmland is being demolished and this mm -hmm. housing is being put up exponentially mm -hmm. all over the place. Yeah. And it, it's insane. It's insane. Yeah. And it's unaffordable. Exactly. Unaffordable to what what would have been affordable five, mm -hmm. six years ago. I, I, we bought our house in 2008. And... It's not much like at that time it was affordable. Thank goodness we purchased when we yeah. did because yeah. today what our house is worth today, we would not be able to afford this. And it's not, right. I mean, look around guys. This is not a great house. <laughs> this is, I mean, it is, I love it. It is house. a very nice house. Thank it you. is a nice house. But it's not, I shouldn't say it's not a great, it's not new. Like they're yeah. building like in neighborhoods, they're tearing down the farms near me. I used yeah. to live in the country and they're I building know. million dollar houses. Why? Yeah. I we know. don't need more million dollar houses. I and know. by the way, the million dollar house, this is a four bedroom, three bathroom house. They're the same size houses. They're just, yeah. why, why are they a million dollars now? I know. Uh, I know. And then like the homeless, like we were talking about the homeless population mm -hmm. in, in areas like you and I live in mm -hmm. 10 years ago, we would never have seen homeless people. I, and, we don't. Yeah, I don't have homeless people by me yet. Think, knock on wood. Yeah, I do. That's crazy. You live in the I suburbs. Know. I know. Yeah, and you've been here. I have. And 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 we do know. Yeah, we do know. It's great. And it's you can't let your kids go play outside. Like you never know. And it's no. because and it's not even that people are homeless. It's that the people who are homeless have mental issues like this guy and yes. are not on the correct. Like you never know what's going to yeah. happen. Yeah, and we, we just solved all the world's problems. By the way, I know, I know. <laughs> and, and not only are these apartments and affordable housing going up, hotels are going mm -hmm. up. The mm -hmm. hotels are housing. Um, the they're, they're renting. They're they're the government is paying for yes. hotels for. Yes. People who came to this country illegally and not taking yep. care of the American citizens who are here now and yes. need help. Yes. Insane. The hotels are not here for people that are on vacation. No. Yeah. They're not here for people vacationing. And if you want to go on vacation, good luck finding a hotel that's not full of homeless or migrants or whatever that's yeah. affordable. You're going to yeah. pay $200 a night for a room. Like yeah. a regular room at like the best Western, like just yep. a regular old hotel room. Unless you want to stay at one of those extended stays that are, I fill with bed bugs. I am going off on a tangent now, but no, it, are. like tangents, as you guys know, I've, I'm not, I've said it before, but I'm a property manager. I manage industrial properties and there are hotels near the properties that I manage. And I teared up the other day because I was driving one of my properties and I saw a school bus 
pull up and drop kids off to one of these shitty motels. I see it every day. So it was so sad to me. Yeah. But they, the, the housing is so expensive. And thank goodness, thank God, that these children have a roof over their head. And hopefully it's one of the hotels that at least has breakfast in the morning or something like that, which it probably doesn't, but who knows, you know. But it's not just hotels. They they pick up and deliver to homeless shelters, oh. to the, yeah, to the homeless, like they have regular stops at the homeless shelters, the women and children shelters. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Mama says, and veterans. And um, Surrender Monkey made a good point a minute ago uh, that if the medical bills were not so expensive, these people could get the medical help that they need. It, yeah. It's just insane. It's All unaffordable. Right, me, we have to watch the rest of this. Video. I know, I know. We can do this <laughs> for, for, for several days. Yeah, just have, like, just... yeah. Stay tuned for Thursday night show. Uh, we're going to do a many such cases show Thursday night. And on that many such tangents, we can go off on all of the tangents we want on that show. <laughs> okay, so he, he just walked over with her over she, here. She, she'll tell you. She got your notebook. He grabbed her mom. Come over at my house. Okay. The audio was muted during the questioning of the young girl, but according to the field case report, she explained that she had been staying overnight with her friend, who was the daughter of the female who was being interviewed. She recounted that they had been watching movies before falling asleep, only to wake up being carried outside while the man was screaming. She said she tried to kick as hard as she could to escape, but was unable to break free. The girl's father was contacted and later arrived to pick her up. Yeah, so pretty much, um, what we gathered was mm. and this guy needs to buy homeboy a beer the hero guy he needs to like i hope they explain the story to him of how much of a hero that guy was to his child yeah i mean yeah. i would be showering this man with gifts if i were him that's mm -hmm. just Her brother had some, stand over here, had some type of health issue. Mental health, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. break. Um, took your daughter across the street to, um, what's his name? Uh, Devante, or yeah, the Devante's, yeah. his house. Um, he obviously, like, he yelled at me? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, me, I'm going to take, I'm going to switch you. Took your daughter from him, because okay. uh, essentially, like, he's just, like, thank you. brought her over there, right? Um, not, not knowing what he's really doing. No, no, um, no. So he oh, right took your daughter in the house, house kept him out of the yeah. house, essentially. Oh, yeah, um, I'll go give this back to him. That's essentially when like, we arrived, obviously got the scene under control and everything, and then he's now in the back of our, our cruiser. <laughs> Um, but as we know, there's no, like, physical harm to yeah. your daughter or anything like that. Uh, it seems like he literally just walked. Just tons of mental harm for yeah. the rest of her life, probably. For the rest of their, why are they downplaying it? Yeah. And why is this father not flipping the hell out? I mean, it is 4 a.m. I don't care now. what time it is. Hey, his child yeah. is safe. And, um. No. Flipping out doesn't, uh, I would be, I'm just saying I would be the same way as I would be very, like, I, I have a switch to where when stuff is like this is happening, I feel my emotions going up and I bring them down and sometimes it goes, like, I get it. I uh, freaking out and yelling at people is not going to help anything right now. And it's going to traumatize the kid more. So I think he's doing okay. Personally. Shit. So you don't want to, you don't, your, your children feel your emotions. So I well, think that don't be shut and, and the kids would be on the other side of it. From here over there, we don't know why he's not saying anything. He's kind of just screaming in the back of the car. Um, he's screaming, help. This one is banging. Yeah. Thank well, you. He, I mean, he's, he's getting Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I understand. Um, but still. Right. 
So, yeah, that, that's kind of where we're at right now. Hello. Hello. I'm Lieutenant Newman with the Akron Police Department. I'm Joseph. Help me. Joseph, do not know you. Okay. Hey, the reason I'm here is to talk about what happened between you and the officers tonight. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, help me. Okay. Um, we're going to get you some help. Help me. We, we're going to do that. But can you tell me what happened between you and the officers tonight? I was helping a little girl cross the street. And then the officers showed up? Yes. And then what happened? I got tackled down on the floor. He was helping a little girl across the street who was dead asleep at 4.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. by the way. In the living room, apparently they were watching movies, eating popcorn, fell asleep. Like a normal eight-year-old sleepover, by the way. Yeah. yeah. And he just snatched her and walked her across. It, it reminds me, do you remember that case I covered with Frank? Um, where the little girl was kidnapped in the middle of the night. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. I'll I'll think of it in a second. The, the one with the, the dad. Florida? Yeah. Homo, Homo Sassa, Florida. I remember the name of the yeah, town. Yeah, where the I guy do. Yep. came and across the, the closet. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that is and then cool. buried her in the backyard while the police were right there, which yes. is crazy to me. That Go back and watch that horrid. episode, by the way. I will yeah. find it and link it in the chat. It's a great episode. Plus, Let's Be Frank was on with me, and he's awesome. awesome. Yeah. He's an awesome dude. And was like, Dang. Okay. Explain what you mean to me. There was a bunch of shit going on. Yep. Like, officers all around me. I feel like my wrists are broken right now, and I have a knife in my back and stuff. I okay. wish. When you say gang, what do you mean? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You, you told me that the officers tackled you to the ground. You're going to help me, right? Yes, we're going to get you help. Can you tell me more about Are that? Are you going to get into the vehicle? I am not. I'm going to stand here and talk to you for a minute. Can I talk to a different officer? No, you cannot. Yeah, I mean, you will eventually, but for, help! Now, for now, oh you're talking gosh. to me. Oh, my gosh. Can you tell me what you mean when you say that the officers... My name is Joseph... I got that. Joseph, can you tell me what My you... name is Joseph... Yes, I got that. My name is Joseph... Joseph, are you able to tell me more about after the officers tackled you? I, w I felt like I was tackled and... When you say... What do you mean? Jessica Lunsford. Yes. I'll put the link in the chat, by the way. Go check out that episode. It's very... After this one. Watch this one first, obviously. Like, there was, like, a bunch of shit going on. There, I was... I feel like I have a knife in my back and my... And I feel like... So, sir? I think if he ends up in prison, he will have a knife. Oh, a shank in his back. Hopefully. I yeah. shouldn't say that. I apologize. I shouldn't wish death on people. My bad. Well, no, he could survive yeah, very no, easily. Mm, you, you didn't wish death upon him. I did in my brain, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following you. When you say, do you mean like the handcuff Help! and they put you in all this? Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay. You don't mean like someone assaulted you, to be clear. You mean that they put you in this He's this saying contract? that the cops gang raped him. That's exactly what he said. And the cops, like, uh, the this officer, the, the boss or whatever, is like, they sexually assaulted you? Like, they <laughs> held you on the street and gang raped you? Because that, like, that that's obviously what he wanted to do, that little girl bringing him to his friend's house. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so nobody assault. Well, when you say that means assault to me. So when you're saying that the officer's that's what I'm getting. So I'm trying to clarify what you I'm, mean. I'm handcuffed right you're now. You're handcuffed and you're in pain. Okay. And, and you feel uh, that the officers put you in this, that was not cool, right? Is that, yes, sir. Is that about the size of it, or am I missing if something? If I was the officers, those handcuffs would be so freaking tight, he'd lose feeling in his fingers. Yeah. That's just me. Are you going to get into the car and drive? I'm, I'm, no, but another officer is. Can I see him right now, please? In, in a minute. I want to see him now with you. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. We're having I want to see another officer with you. There, there are like six right officers. Right there, hey! Could you please? Help! Okay. <laughs> Joseph. Help! Help! Joseph, you've got some injuries. Help! How did you sustain these injuries? No, Joseph, you're not getting out. How did you, how did your toe get Help! Out? Joseph. Help! Help! He's going to try to get out and crawl along the ground like an inchworm right now. So notice, because I know it'll probably come up. He, they're not asking him anything about the crime. No. 
So his his rights were not read to him. So they're but just there... asking about yeah what happened after the cops got there. They're making so, sure that he doesn't need medical attention right now. Yes. Yeah. Well, if they will read him his rights. Yep. Before they ask him, why did you kidnap an eight-year-old exactly. girl and try exactly. to bring her across the street to your friend? By the way, yeah. dude, hero guy is not is saying he's not my friend. I, I hired him to do mm -hmm. lawn work one time. Yep. And he was probably nice and friendly and like, like I, like I would be, if I have somebody here working, I'm not treating them like a servant. I'm treating them like a human being right. who's doing a job for me. Like, like he was probably like, the same way, like a normal yeah. human being. Yep. Yeah. How did your toe get hurt? I was tackled onto the floor. And that's how it got hurt? Yes, sir. All right. I also see a scrape on your knee. Yeah. Yes, sir. And a scrape on your shoulder. Is there anything else? My name is Joseph. Yes. Oh, boy. I got that. My name is Joseph. Are you sure you about hear that? me? Yes. Hey! Joseph, do you have any other injuries I'm not seeing? No. Okay. Mental. All right. I, I see, like, your toe, your knee, your shoulder. Anything else? Brain. Your elbow. Can, I, can you turn so I can get a photo of your elbow? Would that be possible? Yeah? No? What? I can? Okay. Can you turn oh, to your man. right? Your like your body? Never mind, I got it. I'm gonna come around to the other side for a second. Okay? No! Hey! No, no, Joseph. Hey! God. <laughs> I get his toe. I'm thinking about your comment with the inchworm. Inchworm. All right. Yes. All right, Joseph, you're good. Get him out of here. The man was charged with abduction, resisting arrest, and obstructing official business. Mm -hmm. Additionally, he was found to have an outstanding warrant for his arrest and was in violation of a protection order. Share your thoughts below and remember to like and I'll share my thoughts right now. I Holy cow. What that protection order was for. I don't know, but they don't never say his last name. I wanted to look into it. Maybe if I, I do a little Googling, I can find the case. All right. <laughs> I got to do some reading. Oh, um, these these religious compound stories are very culty. Crazy to me. Yes. All right, we're going to make a we're going to make a short video out of this. So, ready? Ready. Are we ready? Thanks everybody for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Mom allegedly kidnapped 4-year-old kept children hidden in religious compound led by cult leader. A Utah woman and her son were arrested on accusations they kidnapped her four-year-old daughter who was found on a religious compound a year after vanishing, according to federal prosecutors. Kimberly Dell Davidson Drolet, age 53, was indicted on kidnapping and conspiracy charges for allegedly abducting her child and transporting her across state lines while keeping her hidden for nearly 18 months. And the, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Utah said in a statement last week, the child who was not named in the statement has been identified as Gracelyn Drolette by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Davidson Drolette, who prosecutors allege was accompanied by her son, Jackson Davidson, age 30, among others, is accused of taking her non-custodial child from Utah and taking her to Springfield, Missouri in January 2023, where she allegedly kept Grayson a religious on a religious compound through July 2024, federal prosecutors say. An arrest warrant was issued for Davis and Drolette in December per prosecutors. Prior to Drolette's arrest, she was observed with a child who was located at a religious compound led by a religious cult leader who is also related to Drolette. Prosecutors allege in their statement released on Friday, August 9th, alongside Davidson, the mother was also allegedly assisted by Dap Dave. Let's try that sentence again. <laughs> <laughs> Alongside Davidson, the mother who also also allegedly assisted by Dallas Davidson, age 23, and Kristen Merrill, age 53, per prosecutors. 
All four are in custody. One of the suspects is Davidson Drolette's sister, police said. Look at this. Just very punchable. Extremely. Utah Utah officials say Davidson Drolette allegedly hatched an elaborate plan to take Grayson away from Utah and then hide her from her custodial father and law enforcement. She allegedly planned the kidnapping for over 14 months, prosecutors said. Davidson Drolette allegedly used tools such as burner phones and postal services to help hide her daughter per the statement. Merrill, Dallas, and Jackson allegedly assisted Davidson Drillet in keeping their location hidden from law enforcement, prosecutors say. All four suspects have been charged with kidnapping and conspiracy to commit kidnapping, per the prosecutors in Utah. Um, what is it. the matter with Utah? There's I'm, some serious issues yeah. with Utah. Serious, yeah. serious issues. Very serious issues. Uh, Across I, the board. I mean, the the whole like sister wives thing and all of that stuff just really creeps me out. Honestly, it's more than sister wives. There, there is story after story after murder after murder after mm -hmm. murder after That's cults weird. after cults. It's crazy. Remember Utah that is insane. Kidnap or not mm -hmm. kidnapping that that those dudes who shot randomly shot that homeless guy in an hold uh, an encampment. Oh, that yeah. was in Utah. that was in Utah. That was in Ogden, Utah. Utah is insane. It's I, yeah. I don't ever need to go to Utah. Never. Uh, okay Oklahoma, Oklahoma State head football coach admits during live interview that he's driven drunk about a thousand times. Oh, that's it. Insane. I have a story coming up here that, about that court case I was telling you about that I sent you the 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 guy who ran from the cops drunk driving. Yeah. Two of his friends. People die every day of drunk drivers. What are we doing here? And like watch this yeah. guy. It's crazy. So I looked it up on my phone. It's like he's not even ashamed of it. No. So I looked it up on my phone. What would be the legal limit? Like in Oklahoma is 0.08 and Ollie was um, 0.1. So I looked it up and it was based on body weight, not to get into the legal side of it, but I thought really two or three beers or four. I'm not justifying what Ollie did. I'm telling you what decision I made. Well, I thought I've probably done that a thousand times in my life. And, and I, you know, it's just fine. I, so I got it's lucky. It's not fine. People get lucky. It's not fine. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's not no, fine. It's never fine. It really isn't. Ollie made a, um, a decision that he wished he could have done better. But when I talked to Ollie, I told him, I said, you're lucky you got out light because you make a lot of money to play football. That was it. That was the interview. That's insane to me. Yeah. No good. Crazy. Crazy. No good. Just, just like regular. Eh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. Times. It is six o'clock. We'll do a couple more stories and then I have a body cam at the end. Okay. Woman claims sexual assault by toy in hibachi restaurant. Now I have mixed feelings about this. In a hibachi restaurant. Just what? Yeah. In a hibachi. Have you ever been to a hibachi restaurant? I have. I never have, and I like. I don't think I'd like it. I have to say, there's I, a lot going on. Like, I just, just want to give be, me my food. Yeah, yeah. I just don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I'd like it. All right. I mean, so just this food. story, I would not claim sexual assault, but I would not like it either. So let's let's watch. <laughs> <laughs> We begin tonight with a bizarre police report that's going to make you do a double take. No doubt about that. Cops called after a woman in Murfreesboro says she was sprayed in the face with a restaurant water toy. By the way, Murfreesboro is one of the one of the towns that Mr. Zed and I were looking at possibly in relocating to. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not so sure after this story. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> 
and called it sexual assault. New at 10 tonight, our Jason Lamb looked into this. Jason, this all happened at a hibachi restaurant. Oh, yeah, that's right. And the restaurant says the water toy they were using was just part of their normal act for diners. They say they couldn't believe it when police showed up and filed this report. Choo -choo -choo, yeah. Choo -choo. The folks at Wasabi Japanese Steakhouse in Murfreesboro say, along with dinner, Fire's coming. diners yeah, get a show. Them. But now one diner says last night she thinks the cooks here showed a little too much of the little guy in the cook's just hand. Like the hold of water, just like that. Here's a closer look. You hold a side, and it goes up. So water come out. A plastic toy that yeah. sprays water made to look like the figure is urinating when its toy pants are lowered. Last night at dinner, Wasabi Why? Restaurant admits one of the chefs shot some of the water in the face of one of its customers. It peed on me, <laughs> basically. It shot water out of its penis. How's that? Out of its wee wee area. You Isabel know what? and James Lassiter. Does that make sense? She is playing the victim card. She has done way more in her life. This does not bot. She's looking for a payday. She doesn't give one shit. Here's the thing. It would bother me. I don't find. It would bother me too. I think it's BS. I think it's stupid. I, but I don't find that sort of humor funny. I, I don't, don't think it's cute. I think any. I think anything not like that restaurant. is just. Not no. ever. Like, I think pulling your pants down is not hilarious. I no. don't think peeing on somebody, I don't think R. Kellying somebody is hilarious. I don't I like don't it. I don't either. However, I, don't. I also don't, wouldn't call it sexual. Like, do you have no. any idea? This I'm is with why you. I don't call things that are sex or that are rape sexual assault. And I'm not going to call something like this sexual assault because there are people who are I'm sexually assaulted and this shits on all of them let's be honest i am with when, you 100 percent. but she's looking for a payday oh for she sure she is that type of person also it's it looks like a mom and pop hibachi place what how much are you gonna get yeah nothing you're gonna put them out of business you're never gonna get any money from it what are we doing here yeah i know i know here on a job from Texas say they were mortified when the chef essentially made the toy urinate water really on Isabel. In front of our minor children and grandchildren. It really didn't have a wiener, but you got the point. They were so upset they even <laughs> called the police, citing assault. It was a sexual style oh. assault on wire. Police oh also God. noted the doll wasn't, well, anatomically correct. But Isabel and James say that doesn't matter. I mean, that, that, just because it didn't have a wing. Just because somebody may cut off drunk? that little piece of plastic to say, okay, it's not there. They don't, I mean, they, I don't want to judge people by the way they look, but I'm gonna. They don't look like this bothered them. They don't look like this type no. of folks that, no. although. They spend every evening in a bar. Yeah, they they look like they smell like an ashtray. Absolutely. Anymore doesn't change the fact that you're getting peed on. Yeah. I really the general manager, Johnny Huang, yeah, I that. says he apologizes to the family and that he's never had any complaints about the toy before. And the kid like it. Kid like it. Yeah, they pay the water. 12-year-old boys, boys are going to think that's hilarious. Correct. But also, don't spray water in my face. Like, Absolutely I, not. If I'm out, I've done makeup. I've, like, I've probably done something with my hair. No. Like, don't spray water on people. That's no. not cool. And, and in other countries, humor is, is different. And, and it, it is just how it is. But they're not in another country, though. No, they're not. So learn what the humor is mm -hmm. in this country. Yeah. A gun, kind of like a water gun, you know. But now he says chefs will yeah, at least ask permission Thank you. before showing more of the toy boy again. Ask permission. So are far, you? no charges have been filed, but the family says they are still considering pressing charges. Of course they are. They say they'll make up their mind over the next couple of days, but we want to hear what you think right now. We have a big conversation going on on my Facebook page. Just go to Facebook and search NC5 Jason Lamb to weigh in. Rory? No. Thanks, they're Jason. Gonna, they're going to have a GoFundMe.
they're going to have a GoFundMe and then they're going to get a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's going to be, oh no, that's just ridiculous. I thought you'd like this story. (laughs) Hold on. Zena got out of focus. There she is. Out of focus, out of frame, whatever. Same difference. Same thing. Same difference. Whatever. Screwed up rebellion. They do look like they smell like meth. I don't even know what meth smells like. I don't either. They they look like they smell like meth. (laughs) That's good. Like, you know, the smell of, uh, like, say, the Jefferson Inn in Chicago, where this floor is sticky and it's like old beer smell. Beer pee? Yeah, that's what they... When you walk into... um, when you went down into the, the, the lower part of the L. The tunnel. The tunnel, the tunnel underneath the Harlem tunnel, Station. <laughs> yeah. And it smells like <laughs> yeah. pee and grease yes. and cigarettes mm-hmm. and feces. Yeah. Yep. That's what they smell like. <laughs> and I can tell. people. <laughs> that oh. smell. Man, it's a very distinct smell. I'll never forget that smell. <laughs> yeah, that smell. Wrong button. Okay, so man pulls gun after Burger King worker would not accept drugs for payment. Oh, that's too bad. He really wanted a Whopper Junior with cheese and all he had was meth. I could go for one of those. A man pointed a gun at a Burger King drive through worker who wouldn't accept drugs for payment and later shot at other people elsewhere the same night after being spotted acting suspiciously spelled wrong. What? Who wrote this article? Because that is the worst <laughs> when they have terrible grammar in these. Who does? I, I kind of don't even want to read this article anymore after getting to that word. And you're um, like in the first few sentence. sentences. Yeah. Uh, and holding a Bible. Uh, Eugene Robertson has been suspected or sentenced to 143 years in prison for his crimes. Prosecutors who announced the sentence on Thursday said the drive through incident was the beginning of a series of crimes Robertson carried out in the Denver suburb of Aurora on October 17th, 2022. No one was wounded in the string of incidents. Earlier this year, in April, a jury found Robertson guilty of 17 crimes, including eight counts of attempted murder. The sentences for the many for many of the crimes, were stacked on top of each other, leading to a long sentence. Robertson, age 40, faced a maximum sentence of more than 400 years uh, when he was sentenced on August 9th. We Hmm. consider this 143-year sentence justice for multiple victims he he put in fear that night. Jurors recognize the severity of the crimes, this defendant committed. Um, so, yeah. This guy, uh, 143 years, which, by the way, it's kind of crazy, these sentencing, how different there the sentences just are. thinking this, you can kidnap a child, get, murder somebody. Get 15 years. Yeah. But here's this. And this guy's getting 400 years. Well, 143, but still, yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Do you remember the Crystal Kaiser case? Yes. Uh, I will put that in the chat, the the link for that in the chat here in a second, because I did a whole episode on this. She was finally sentenced. Oh. So, long story short... Um, by the way, I, like I said, I'll put the episode in the chat if you want all the details on this case, but this bitch, I mean, oh, sorry. Whoa, Katie Moore. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> sorry. I meant to say this cunt. Um, <gasps> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. This, that's um, off air language that I, we just heard people. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't like her. Oh she, my goodness. This woman 
I'm taken aback. Excuse me. I know. I'm sorry. But she was a prostitute. And she advertised herself on a website called Backstages, back, Backpages.com. Uh, this is all from memory right now. So bear with me. So this person, this human, advertised herself on Backpages.com, found a John who gave her money for sexual favors. And she decided that this guy has too much money and she does not have enough money. So she killed him in cold blood, then burned the dude's house down, bragged about it on social media, and was convicted of, of all this stuff. And uh, her defense was she was sex trafficked, even though she's the one that decided to become a prostitute and average. She didn't even have a pimp. Yeah. She was pimp this yeah. guy was just a john he was not her pimp or anything like that she was not sex trafficked she decided to go into a life of prostitution all right here's her sentencing why do we have no oh the king and a woman oh, start over in wisconsin a groundbreaking legal decision involving sex trafficking and a woman accused of killing the man who she says abused her. 22-year-old Crystal Kaiser is facing life in prison in the killing of Randall Voller when she was 17 after meeting him on a sex trafficking website. Prosecutors say in 2018 she went to Voller's home in Kenosha, Wisconsin, shot him and set him on fire. Kaiser says Voller sexually assaulted her and sold her to others for sex. But it wasn't just her. He didn't do that, by the way. He did not do that. He was just a John. Voller reportedly was about to be arrested for sex crimes against children before he died, specifically about abusing about a dozen underage black girls. On Wednesday, Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled that Kaiser can apply a state law at her upcoming trial, that sex traffic victims can be absolved of crimes, even murder, if their actions were a direct result of being trafficked. The justices said Kaiser still must show the killing was connected to being trafficked. I hope that other states would take note of what Wisconsin did, take note of the laws that already exist in other states, and follow suit. That's Mallory Littlejohn of the Chicago Alliance Against Sexual Exploitation, who says this decision could help shape legal immunity of traffic victims nationally. According to Legal Action of Wisconsin, nearly 40 states passed laws giving trafficking victims some level of criminal immunity. And for survivors, hope. Shonda Cooper, CEO of Grateful Girls, Inc., a support system for victims of human trafficking, says this decision is a milestone. If you are a victim or survivor and you find yourself in a situation similar to hers, um, there's a chance that there's some immunity to, towards that. Kaiser's story has gotten national attention with over 1.5 million signatures on change.org. A petition to drop all charges on Kaiser and Little John hopes national coverage gets Americans to pay attention. There are such incorrect stereotypes about trafficking survivors in America that they come from Asian countries or Latinx countries, when in fact there are people that could be your next door neighbors that are trafficking survivors and people that could be your next door neighbors that are perpetrating. In a 2019 interview with the Washington Post, Kaiser shared she was from a troubled home and that Voller had been her only friend. No trial date has been set yet. Why is Kat that? Sandoval, Newsy. I thought this was the sentencing video, but apparently not. She was sentenced to 11 years, by the way. I don't, I don't know what. 11. Yeah. She was sentenced to 11 For years. For murder. And arson. Oh, I guess that was just an old story. I guess I have to read it. Sorry. A Wisconsin woman who killed a man she claims sexually assaulted her when she was a teenager, has been sentenced to 11 years behind bars. Crystal Kaiser, by the way, I put the link in the chat of the um, 
episode I did about Crystal Kaiser going over all of the details of the case. Crystal Kaiser, who is now 23 years old, will spend 11 years in prison and five and another five years on extended supervision for the fatal shooting of Randall P. Voller. Kenosha County Court Circuit Court Judge David Wilk handed down the sentence on Monday. Kaiser was just 17 years old. By the way, 17 is an adult in Wisconsin. Kaiser was just 17 years old when she shot and killed Voller. Just the word just in here before the number 17 bothers me. She was just 17. Okay. Yeah. Old Um, enough. Literally an adult in Wisconsin. Yep. Was just 17 years old when she shot and killed Voller in Kenosha, Wisconsin in June of 2018. She was initially charged with first-degree intentional homicide, but later pled guilty to second-degree reckless homicide, which spared her a trial and possible life sentence. Prosecutors dismissed all other charges. Prosecutors say Kaiser planned to kill Voller because she wanted to steal his BMW, uh, but her attorneys argue she acted in self-defense after suffering years of sexual abuse at Voller's hands. Kaiser, but it was like 18 months. It wasn't years. Kaiser says she was sexually assaulted by Voller, who stole, who sold her to others for sex. There's no evidence of that. According to court documents, Kaiser put a gun, uh, put a gun in her book bag in June of 2018 and told her boyfriend that she was going to shoot uh, Voller because she was tired of him touching her. She went to his house. He, uh, it's, this is insane. I I don't want to, I can't relive the whole episode again. Watch the episode. It's insane that I'm tired of him. Then stop going to his house. Simple as. Yeah. Um, all right. We're going to do, I'm skipping some stuff because we're going long, but earlier, Sorry. Um, Starving to death. But it was my fault because I just, I jumped on yeah. out of nowhere. So you, you do your show. Okay. Yeah. Go get a snack. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. So I think you already know this story anyway. Okay. So um, I tuned into a trial this week and I can, uh, I'll find if you, if, if anybody's interested in the actual trial, let me know and I'll send you the links. It was like a three or four day trial. But it was in regards to a bunch of barbers who came to Atlanta from Memphis on vacation. They rented an Airbnb. They actually rented two Airbnb. Bear, Air, uh, they rented two Airbnbs, and they um, decided to go out drinking all night and smoking marijuana. When they left the club or the lounge, they call it, if, when they left the, the lounge at um, like 2.33 a.m., they're on 85 going east and they're speeding. So a state trooper gets behind them. And let me let me do this real quick. State trooper gets behind them, lights them up pull, to pull them over. This dude, instead of pulling over, decides to run and gets onto 400 North, ends up taking the Lenox Road exit, crashing, killing his two friends that are in the car. There was a trial this week. Let me play the news story for you, and then I'll tell you how that went. Okay. Play. Following breaking news just over Georgia 400 in Buckhead, our live Team 2 coverage continues there with Kristen Holloway. Kristen, at least better traffic news from your vantage point. Yeah, Mark, that's right. That accident cleared just about 15 minutes ago. It was towed on that tow truck. We got some video earlier. You could see that car was flipped on its side. Half the car was missing. Look at that. Just look at the car. This man killed two people because he didn't want to get caught with marijuana in the car. And he had a gun in the car, too, by the way. Look at this car. I want you to notice how banged up the passenger side is and how not as banged up the driver's side is. 
Just just pay attention to this car. It's bad news here. We do know that one person died here on the scene. Really bad accident shut down this intersection here at Lennox Road for about several hours. But again, that is cleared now. You can take these routes. Of course, we're going to keep you updated as soon as we find out what may cause that crash. Okay, so what caused the child, especially if you are in a pool? What caused the crash was this dude, Eric. I think his name is Eric. The last name was Pool. So this guy is in town partying with his friends, uh, leaves the leaves the lounge, like I said, and crashes. Two of his other friends were in the car, and both of them ended up dying. A busy buckhead artery has reopened Friday morning after a deadly crash. Lennox Road was shut down at Georgia 400 after a crash involving at least one car around 3 a.m. The car was seen on its roof. It was. It was flipped over. Police said a Georgia State trooper attempted to stop the Infinity Q50 for speeding around 3 a.m. on Georgia 400. The police said the driver turned off the vehicle's lights sped away, got off the highway at Lenox Road, at the Lenox Road uh, exit. The Audi traveled across the intersection, hit a concrete wall, flipped over, and burst into flames. The trooper was able to put the fire out, but two people were dead inside the car. One of them actually was ejected from the car. The other one was dead inside the car. Another person inside was seriously injured. The victim's identi identi identities has not been released. So let's see. Oh, I thought that was a video of it. It's not. Never mind. Anywho, I watched the trial this week. This guy's claiming that he wasn't driving, even though it was his car, and he was driving <laughs> he said he wasn't driving that he was asleep in the back doesn't remember anything he woke up in the hospital he doesn't remember a high-speed chase going 130 miles an hour weaving in and out of traffic he said that he was in the back seat keep in mind that the passenger seat passenger ejected from the car the other person who was um <clears throat> the other person who was in the car was found dead in the back seat and he says that he wasn't driving. Also keep in mind that his feet were pinned in the, like by the pedals of the driver's seat. This trial ended up in a mistrial, hung jury. I was so angry. I put a lot of time and effort into watching this trial and I needed you all to know. <laughs> anyway, that was that story. <laughs> I have it was one good. More. When I watched it, it was, it was pretty good. Yeah. I... Oh, where's the body cam video I wanted to show? Womp womp. Tell us, uh, tell us about the part that you saw while I found the video. While I find, I watched it. the um the medical medical examiner part. They showed everything in this trial. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, dead bodies on YouTube. Just dead bodies everywhere, laid out <laughs> for everybody to see. It was crazy that they could show that on YouTube. I know. I couldn't believe it. I know. <laughs> Just right there. Yep. It's crazy. All right. So this is not a very long. I mean, it's 20 minutes or whatever, but we'll try to get through it. Let me know if you want me to pause and if you like, just like wave or something and I'll pause it. I'm going to try to get okay. through it quickly and then we're going to be done until Thursday. Okay. Hit and run. Ma'am, get in your vehicle and then get in front of her. Thank you. Uh. Hello. Hello. I'm Officer Trevor from the Fort Myers Police Department. The reason I'm stopping you is as I'm driving by, she's waving me down saying that you hit her car. She, so, you can look at my car. It's a white car. We'll, we'll get it I've all. I've been on the phone the whole time. Ain't nobody. Yeah. Call your supervisor too. I got you. Yeah, call your supervisor. All right. What call do you need a supervisor, supervisor for? I'm calling your supervisor because first of all, if she's making a false report, mm -hmm. she going to jail. First okay. and foremost, you're wasting my time. Not only that, <laughs> I work for the government my goddamn self. So you think that I'm going to be at him and hit your car and keep going? Why? It, it aggravated me, sir, because she came through the goddamn thing. She damn near. I do not approve of this language. 
this person may also be the C word. Kilt me on Ortiz with a f- ladder, hey? Oh no. Leave me alone, because I'm talking to the office here. So, so, just like I said, that's what she said. I'm just trying to figure out exactly yeah, what's that's happening. What I mean, that's what I call your supervisor. Pull, pull her ass up. If I hit her car, I have a mark so, on my car. And she should have I, one so, on her. So, I'm going to, before I call Super, I, I just want you to, to explain to you. When I ask for him to come, he's going to ask me uh-huh. for what, okay? So, I need a legitimate reason to ask for the supervisor, because right now, I'm okay. investigating a traffic crash. You, you ain't investigating a traffic crash because if you were investigating a traffic crash, mm-hmm. it'll be damaged to her vehicle okay. and mine. But I can't hit you if you coming behind me. But First how, and foremost, how would I hit you if you coming behind me? Ma'am. She got a whole a ladder in her trunk. So if I hit you right, I should know what's hanging at your trunk. Ma'am, that's what she said to me. I'm investigating because I got to find out if it is over, risk. That's bullshit and I got something to do. That's why I'm frustrated okay. because you playing with a car in traffic Two young, stupid, dumbass girls could have killed more than just me. I've been here with my damn thing hooked up. Now, just first impressions. Do you believe her? I'm not sure what's going <laughs> on here. I, I, I kind of want to have, have heard the other woman's story. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. Just for, I'm just asking first impressions. Well, I mean, <laughs> usually when somebody is this riled up. It it, it kind of is like an admission of guilt. Mm, yeah. Bingo. Let's watch. <laughs> it, it's aggravating. So, it's aggravating. So let me go talk to her, see what she's saying. Cause mm. She's frustrated, by the way. I, I, I heard All that. she told me was, she hit me, that's why I stopped the car, okay? Yeah, so give me one minute to go figure it out. Let me go figure it out. Are you guys okay? Yeah. The, the lady up there. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Sorry. Get our guard dog. Oh, yeah. I want to hear the nonsense. Hello. Can Hi. you tell me what happened? Because she's just kind of yelling at me. Yeah, of yeah. course. Of course she is. So, we literally just got off of work. We're mm-hmm. all getting off. Also, tell me, does this not look like a miniature version of Xena or what? With a little <laughs> white on the chest and everything? It's like a mini Xena. <laughs> it's a baby Xena. Xena's hungry, by the way, guys. Just saying. <laughs> 75 on um, MLK. MLK. Okay. We're turning on to Ortiz. Okay. She's in behind us. Obviously, I have a ladder, and she, we're trying to be safe. So I turn left. She starts swerving. It's a merge. The merge. So, you know the merge area? Yeah. She literally starts swerving to get around. There's a car in front of us. Too. There's multiple cars in front of us. She can't make it around no. me. So she, then she honks at me. Like, crazy then she swerves and like cuts Around. me off literally like i had to stop and break check and everything okay. then we took a picture and we were trying to take okay a- so you have first impressions of both of them now mm-hmm. who do you think <laughs> they seem they seem very uh level-headed i right and mm-hmm. she, they followed her at a distance mm-hmm. and called the police mm-hmm. like just everything you're supposed to do yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, Thank you very much, Vilified Freedom. Good to see you in an actual live. I know you said you sometimes you come back and see the... um, Why? I'm trying to put it... Are you? I'm sorry. I tried to do the same thing. You do it. I'm I'm not going to touch buttons. Number two is clicking at the same time I'm clicking. (laughs) Vilified Freedom, thank you very much for the super chat. And like I was saying, it's so good to see you in an actual live. I know you said sometimes you come back and watch the replay. You're part of the replay gang, Uh, but it's so good to see you live. And I don't know if you know this, but over here, when somebody supports the channel, you're also supporting Xena's milk bone habit. So, (laughs) Xena, Vilified Freedom loves you. You you sit. Thank you. Oh, look at her. She's just the sweetest. Do a shake. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Back to let's let's just see what we think of this situation. Video of what she was doing. And then when Do you I, have those I can look at? Yes. 
And then when, um, what's it called? We got to the roundabout. He literally was like slowing down because she saw that I was there trying to take video of her. And then I went to go around her. She had more than enough space, sir. Yes. And she literally rammed my car and was like, yeah, I got you. And then, and then tried she to tried off. to drive away. And then I was like, are you serious? So you're gonna hit me and then drive away? You can't even talk to me like a human being? Where, what side of your car did she hit? The left side. The drive side. I was trying to chase her down after she hit me. Is there damage? Where, where did you feel the, the hit? Field. Back there? I don't know, somewhere. Like on your side, like your side. Somewhere on this side. Can you step out for me and just take a quick look? Yes. Yep, that's her. So that's the door the right there? Yep. Okay. And it's just ridiculous, you know, okay. this, the fact that people drive Man, crazy. Man, just stay back there while we're still trying to figure it out. She's getting out of the car to confront them mm -hmm. on the side of the road. Uh, also, I love the fact that these officers have high-vis vests on when they get out on a traffic stop. I think it's, that's a great idea. It's like France. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly like France. <laughs> okay. But why you playing? Ma'am, you're where good. Go sit in the car. Oh my gosh. Right? Go back to your car now. Go back to your car. Don't make, don't make no We're not doing this shit. Go back to your car. Call your supervisor. I'll call him for you. But you can't. Oh, thank you, because y'all wasting my time. Somebody hit your car with no damage. That don't make sense. Go back to your car, please. Can you do me a favor? You guys can get both of your licenses and the registration um, so I can do the crash at the very minimum for you, okay? One of our subject is with us and supervisors. Okay. Thank Give me a few minutes, right? Thank you. You're trying to shoot around me on Veronica Shoemaker and, and, and got mad because you couldn't run, run me off the road. Then you weigh the police down and tell the police I hit your car. I'm going to hit your car. I work for government. Call your county for government. Ma'am. Can I have your license? There's no You're dogs. Needed. I know, I know. There's no dogs here right now <laughs> to give a treat to. Uh, that's the other rule around here. When I speak while I'm muted, the dogs also get. I'm going to give my dogs diabetes just from speaking while my mic's muted. Um, she's saying she works for the government. I highly doubt she still has that job. At least I hope she doesn't, because is this who you want? Also, when she says she works for the government, what do you think? Like, if you had to guess, I don't know the answer. She's but a I'm, janitor. She cleans toilets in government buildings. I'm in like the DMV, maybe. She seems like a DMV worker. Maybe the post office. Uh, possible. She post seems like she could go postal. I see a high-vis vest in her car as well. So maybe... Um, uh, I'm thinking DMV. I'm thinking DMV. They don't wear high vis vests at the DMV. Well, they do if they're out there like setting up the cones for the traffic tests, right? Maybe she's a uh, mail carrier. Maybe she, because I don't know, do they wear vests when they're mm, delivering no. mail? No. That's why don't. I was thinking, like, you know, when you go to take your driver's test, how they have the person out there. Like we're we're grasping at straws here. All right, Katie. all right. I'll we have no idea. <laughs> no, I want your supervisor. He's on the way. It's no crime committed. My client okay. hit neither. All right, hurt. so stop and listen to me, okay? No, so no, so now aggravated. so now I'm requesting your driver's license yeah, so that I can so that I can do the crash I report. If you do not give me your license, I'm gonna put you in handcuffs. You go ahead and please. Listen. Oh, please put her in handcuffs. She's coming out. Oh wait, it gets good. <laughs> I can't wait. Pull her out the passenger side window. Please. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ma'am, step out of the car. Yes, that's fine. Step out. That's fine. Go no in front problem. of my car. No problem at all. Okay. No problem. Go in front of my car. Right here. Take a seat. So I'm going to explain it one more time. You can give me your driver's license sir, so I can do sir, the crash. Sir. I'm going to put you in handcuffs. You first and foremost. Let's, no, let's be like I'm done here. because you no, keep... Yeah, no, turn around. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Put me in. Put you 
It didn't have to be like this. No. It did not. Also, by the way, um, if you're involved in an accident, whether it happened or not, they have to do the report. If you work for the government, you know this. It doesn't mean you're guilty or not guilty. They just need your information. So That's somebody all. can do an investigation. They like her insurance company. If she's saying that um, she did not hit this person or that there was no crash, her insurance company will do a, an investigation and prove it was the other person's fault. But they need your driver's license to do that. And that is the the insurance company, whether they are at fault or not, mm -hmm. will automatically take the side of of their clients yes. and yep. try to prove it immediately that it mm -hmm. wasn't their fault. Trust me, I'm so, in the middle of this right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So it's just. It did not have to be like this. Yeah. By the way, I saw We Need Peace was asking how I'm doing um, from the accident. I, I, anybody who wasn't here a couple weeks ago, I was rear-ended by a Suburban, by the way, which felt like a tank in my little tiny Buick. Um, on my birthday, if you can believe that, happy birthday to me. Uh, but I did have a back injury and I went to a follow-up doctor's appointment on Friday, just a little update on me. And they are going to do, they're going to do needles in my back this coming up Thursday, like to, I, I don't even know exactly. There's a name for it, but they're going to stick me with needles and numb the part that hurts. So that's I'm the, not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the chat. Oh, what are they saying? <laughs> oh, it's just been a great chat during this body cam. I love it's, my chat. It has just been fantastic. <laughs> the chat is is great. <laughs> I, if I haven't told you guys lately, have I told, have I told you lately that I love you? <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Oh man, we sang to you guys. This doesn't happen every day. <laughs> I that mean, is how much we love it, you. It might happen every day. It just depends on how many super chats come in from. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm. I I just that was a joke. That was a joke. I kid. I kid. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. You just yeah. illegally pulled me out of my car. She looks relaxed. Let go of your phone. Let go of your phone. Why do you have my phone? Why do, because you're going in the back arrest. of my car. I'm not under arrest. Oh, my That's God. Okay. You're being detained. You're, you're, no, detained for what? Because you detained are. For, why, why are you putting your hands because because you're gonna be arrested. Yeah. Well, because man. of your attitude. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Oh, good luck with that, sir. <laughs> good luck. That, to that voice. I know. I know. And the, the, the whole, when something is happening that you do not like saying, I'm glad that this is happening is just annoying. It's just I really know. annoying. I know. Oh, oh, you're detaining me? Oh, you're arresting me? I'm glad. I'm so happy you? that you're That's detaining great. me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You say you're supervisor yet to see a supervisor. But you telling me some bullshit and you know they bullshit. That's the part. No, because it got me hot. Y'all treat me like I ain't shit. Y'all treat me like I don't work for the government myself. Nobody That's cares bullshit. that you so work for the, the government. That's bullshit. Hold on. Okay. Instead of him treating somebody with respect, look at my friends. I asked for a supervisor. How long we Okay, been? so this whole respect thing. This whole respect thing. Mm -hmm. These officers are so respectful to the mm -hmm. two girls who are respecting them. Yep. Do Respect you is given where it is earned? It is earned, earned where it's given where you know what I mean. I I got you, you. know what I mean. <laughs> My point being is that if this woman acted like a normal human being who was part of society, yep. This none of this would be happening. None of it. Nope. She started it immediately. Out the gate. Out yeah. the gate. Out why, the gate. Uh, why are you pulling me over? It doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a report that you hit somebody's car. There was some sort of accident. I need to investigate it. End of story. Give them your license. Chill. Yeah. yeah. Ch this officer needs to be saying chill. <laughs> chill. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No supervisor. I called a supervisor. No supervisor. Okay, just listen to me, okay? I can't, I can't focus. My, my circulation being cut off. All right, you want me to... I can't, I can't focus. I, I really can't focus. Try shutting your mouth. That's why when I got out of my car, you see what they did? Turned their head sideways and rolled up the window. Them was road raging. Now pull y'all cameras at the jailhouse and you'll see what you're dealing with. You wanna, Two liars. You want to you step out real quick so I can fix the... He knew exactly what the f he was doing when he put him this type. Right. You know what's bullshit. I hit that car. Bitch, I ain't hit nothing. It's a little better? This. Can you put him in the front of me? No. I'll, I'll put a second pair on for you. How's that? I'm, I'm damn near six foot. I, I'm, I'm, this is so humiliating. This is why people file reports. This is why lawsuits are made. For shit like this, this is so humiliating. I'm on the side of the road in a hand car, and this is what I'm dealing with. Right you now, did it. Right. Then you see the bitch, look at it. You can and how nice are these officers being to even loosen those and put a second pair on for yeah. They don't have to do that. No. They are being so respectful, and I don't think they should be with no. this attitude that's happening. No, she did it. You see yeah. the fake in our eyes. You see that? You can see it. Sit, 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 sit in the car. Bitch, you see him, though. You see him. You see him. I'm, that ain't somebody that's in it. Listen. That's a mother that got I'm, mad because they couldn't beat me for I'm, my I'm being patient with you, okay? <laughs> but I need you to talk to me, all right? I'm aggravated, sir. I, I, I get I'm that. out of my car. She's frustrated. Re <laughs> realistically, he's to... saying a police report <sighs> for me hitting your car. How did I hit your car? Let, let me explain, okay? You ain't even investigate my car for two seconds. Nobody can shut you up for long, for long enough. enough. Like, honestly, seriously now, if she would and have acted like part of society, they would have, in like, it would be over by now. They would have taken the information down. Uh, you know, yeah, they would have would, exchanged insurance information. Yeah. You know? She wouldn't give that give her information to the cops. Yeah. Which put her in this situation. For reals, yo. For, for real, reals. for real. No cap. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 I am cutting that and sending it to your daughter, by the way. I'm going to clip she that. Says, Don't ever do that again, mom. Somebody clip that so I can send it to number two's daughter, my goddaughter. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Never. Why, why he took my phone and any of that? 
That's my right. You stripping me of that. I know my rights, bro. I work for the bruh. government myself. I know my rights, bro. <laughs> <sighs> All my partner got was she was, she was, she was laid down by them, okay? And was, Bullshit. Hold on. That's, that's, She's spitting that's, me. I was on the phone with them. I heard Got me here sweating like a thing no more. This shit is... How long is your supervisor going to be, sir? I'll call him again, all right? Please see that's, how long your supervisor Did she go. just say she's sweating like an N-word? Is that, is that what I she said? I didn't hear that. I got to rewind. I think that's what she's... So somebody in the chat, let me know if that's what she said. With them. I heard Got me here Sweating like a thing no more. This shit is. <laughs> how long is your supervisor gonna be, sir? I'll call him again. Please see how long your supervisor gonna be. Yeah, please. Don't teach you. I'm sitting here sweating like some type of animal in a car <laughs> without help. They if the fit. shoe fits. The AC works. Like I mean, <laughs> so I mean, she when it comes said to these it. types of situations, I didn't right? Say you gotta it. get both sides of the story. <laughs> From what I saw. When I got here, okay, I was the second officer on scene. You were already screaming at us and at them, okay? We're not trying to be jerks to you. He was. Not you. You got a little bit more respect. But for him to take me, slam me. Guess what time it is, Zena? Guess what time it is, Zena? I'm going to turn off my um, microphone so I can eat a pretzel. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give Zena. One. You know these little treats, these special ones, they, they're little stars. Aren't those adorable? I know. I know. Thank you, Erica. Zena gets one of the good treats. Do a touch. That's not a touch, that's a lick. T touch, shake. There you go. She loves those ones. Thank you. Against the car for some shit he know didn't make, make sense. If you and two people are in a car and somebody hit you, your first reaction would be to call 911. She These did. These people was behind me. They then. did call 911. You hit them, they called 911. Why do you think the cops are there? Ortez, this dumbass girl came up Ortez, damn near killed two people in the merge. This bitch come through the roundabout put in front of me. She tried to hit my car. I still made it through the roundabout. We come through. By the way, you see this car that just pulled up? She called her husband. Her husband's there now. Now, so let's take bets in the chat. Do you think the husband is going to calm down the situation or escalate the situation? Let me know in the chat what you think is going to happen. The roundabout. We come through the roundabout. This bitch comes like this. Way by here to the police. They pull me over and say I hit the cop. That's bullshit. There should be pieces of the car and everything in the road. The speed limit 45. Make it make sense. Okay. It don't make sense. I will make it make sense for you right now. You scuffed their car. You didn't. It wasn't a head-on collision. I, when I got hit, there was not pieces in the car, and I got hit hard. I mean, the whole back of my car from the, uh, you know, there's different parts. There's the tailgate, then there's the bumper, and then there's the part. The whole thing from the top to the bottom, bottom was smashed by the Suburban. None of the pieces in my car fell off. This was a lighter, a lighter crash. They, it sounds like she, they were traveling like this. And she like scuffed them a little bit, just a little bit, just a little scuff. That's how it makes sense. They full of shit. Do you know who this gentleman here That's is? My husband. That's your husband. Okay. So this is my girlfriend, Ranisha. Okay. On her way to I'm sorry, but we have to interrupt the show again. Thank you so much. I love these interruptions. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Erica. Zena is staring at you. She's got her ears slicked back and everything. Oh, there comes an ear. Zena has one ear that lays flat and one ear that is crooked, which I think is the cutest thing ever. By the way, don't buy a dog. What are you doing buying a dog from a breeder? Mm -mm. The best dog. Adopt. The best dogs come from the shelter. Uh, mm -hmm. Exhibit A, right here. The best dog comes from. They know. Yeah. We adopted Zena when she was two years old. She was adopted as a puppy and then returned. Okay. 
this story. Another tangent, by the way. Um, somebody Many adopted such tangents. Somebody adopted Zena as a puppy. She was adorable. I'll in my um community section, I'll put a picture of Zena as a puppy because the shelter still had her picture um from when she was adopted out as a puppy. And then the the shelter staff said she was adopted by somebody who's the father was part of the Harlem Globetrotters. Huh. So uh, a basketball player and his family adopted Zena. Then it, two years later, took her to a boarding facility and just left her there. Never came back for her. Paid for boarding for two weeks and never came back for her. And then the boarding place finally ended up calling the rescue organization that adopted her out the first time because she was micro microchipped, Microsoft, microchipped. <laughs> and we had just lost um, our dog, um, Dusty, like a couple of months earlier. And we went to PetSmart to get food for Fritz, which is a German Shepherd. And um, she was just sitting there. She was the only big dog. There was a bunch of little dogs and she was just sitting there in the crate by herself. Nobody was even looking at her or talking to her or anything. And I said to Mr. Zed, I'm like, we should give this dog some love just because she's just sitting there by herself and nobody's even talking to her. And Zena, you've met Zena number two. She Mm -hmm. did the thing where she hugs and she put her head on my shoulder and uh, that's how we got Zena. She um, knew. <laughs> Zena sleeps with me when I'm there. She does. She's the best snuggler. She's yeah. the best snuggler. So the best dogs come from the shelter. Please, please, mm-hmm. please don't shop, adopt. Back to the video. This is the husband. And we, the votes in the chat says that he's going to escalate. So we'll see what happens. Come get me. Okay. And going to get whatever happens. Like I said, I don't know what happened. I guess this car claimed that they hit, she hit him and yep. kept going. Yep. So my understanding is she pulled over, correct? No, I did a traffic stop on her to stop her. Oh, okay. Uh, so, there's, so I'll stop you right there, okay? There's okay. damage consistent with the crash, all right? She's not going to jail for the crash. She's going to jail for the obstruction. Because I asked her for her ID so I can complete the crash report. And we we're going to leave it at that because she, they don't want to press charges. They just wanted a crash report. Okay. And it's everything she did after that. That's why she's oh, going. Okay. So when we call <laughs> he's from- just a normal dude yeah. married to a psycho. And he's like totally understanding. She's like, oh, yeah, I know her. That sounds, that sounds, that tracks. That sounds like that. How happened. does this happen? How does he go through life married to a psycho? Uh, there's a lot of men that do it. I don't understand. Don't, don't, I'm not going to say it. That poor man. <laughs> I know. He seems like such a nice guy, doesn't he? He probably physically abused. Looking, I'm, I'm being serious. Mm-hmm. Looking at this video and mm-hmm. her attitude and attitude, he is probably physically and emotionally mm-hmm. abused on a daily basis. Just the fact that he did not question that that happened at all makes me believe that she's like this all the time. Yeah. That's and she's sad. a government employee. That is sad. Yeah. Many such cases. Hell or tail. Many yeah. such cases. Many. To this roundabout. That's it. That's what you're saying. So can I speak? Yes. Yeah, she's on this side, right next to that officer. Wolfer. That's fine, yeah. All right, Shit, here's sense. your husband, okay? Don't make So this one. He told me. I didn't show up anything. I asked him for a supervisor. Call 911 and tell them to send a supervisor here because I'm being kidnapped. Call 911. I'm being kidnapped. It's an abuse of 911. No, that's you not. Will also go to jail. I'm being kidnapped. I'm being you kidnapped. Also go to jail if you call 911. I'm not playing today. Look, he said he ain't playing. He don't want a supervisor here because he know he violated my right. You can call Sergeant Musa. He, he, he violated he my right. Fort Myers Police Department. That's what he's doing. He's violating my rights. I have rights. Because you telling me you accuse me of something never took place. You didn't investigate. You can't investigate. How the are they supposed to investigate when you won't shut your trap and let them do their job? 
Oh my gosh. She's I say this almost every one of your episodes at there's at least one person in one of your episodes that I say, how does this happen to a person? There's at least one person that is completely off the wall. How does this happen to a person? She wants her phone so she can call 911 right now because she's being kidnapped. There's, Are you kidding me? This is terrible. <sighs> 20 seconds. Five minutes, I'll have to pressure. What happened to the arms? Okay. Also, if you notice, she doesn't have her arms behind her back anymore. She's got them underneath her. Like, she's about to get out of those cuffs. And they yep. were nice enough to put two yes. pairs of cuffs on her. They were You're right. Look at that. Yeah. She, they did her a favor by putting an extra. And, and this is what this is the repayment. You telling me you accused me of something never took place. You didn't investigate. You can't investigate a crash in 20 seconds. Five you didn't give him a chance, woman. I called him twice. I know, but here's the thing. Listen, I'm being kidnapped at you. I'm being okay. kidnapped. Oh. Because of what? I asked for a supervisor, which is my right. A small I know, ma'am. All of this above. Because I was lied on. Then? So if I was lied on, y'all can prove I was lied on. All right. Uh, my partner actually just said, uh, hang out for a few minutes because okay. he's finished up the crash report now for you guys. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to roll the window up. I'm getting out of the car. All right, bro. I'm going to have a three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In the car. Just get in the phones. No, just go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in your bag. Bag. Put it in your boat bag. Do you see what's happening here? He's getting her purse out of the car. Mm -hmm. And she's saying to stash the purse in his backpack. What's in this purse is what uh -huh. I want to know. Yeah. That's what I thought was going on. All right, you guys are good. I Excuse me, you. you guys are good to go. Thank, Thank you, you for flagging me down and getting Thank me some work. You. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, drive safe. These two girls seem like such nice girls. They're coming from work, you know. Yeah. yeah. You could see they had like paint on their hands, so they're doing some sort of physical labor. They just don't want their car to be messed up. Who can blame them? This is, I want to know what's in that purse. What, what's going on here? Put my purse in. Okay, relax. That's what I'm just doing. Yeah, I, got, I got it, baby. He's not going to take nothing from you. I got it. Relax. We tried to get you out of You know what she was going on in the car. We ain't for the this, this, you see what I mean by energy? This is the energy that got projected. This is what this what I be talking about, man. Every time. I just try to keep that shit away from you. Victim mentality. Yeah. It's your energy that is doing yeah, this. Exactly. Your energy. Exactly. What? Uh, get, we can walk up here. I gotta take a picture. This. Uh, Carmen. Yep. So. She's still effing yelling. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll be able to bond her out here in a couple hours. All right. Uh, it's a misdemeanor. It's going to be a couple hundred bucks. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks for being reasonable with me, sir. Why didn't they search her? I don't know. I would have. I'm. I'm assuming the officer didn't see that slick move with her saying, "Get my bag" and all that stuff because yeah. he was talking to the other, uh, the the young girls. That should always be. A, well, a priority i would think here's the thing it's not a priority if but when you're acting like that it should become a right priority. like the obviously when i got hit um a couple weeks ago they didn't search me or the other woman because we were both normal people right but this type of behavior is a red flag it's criminal behavior hide my purse 
put it in your bag, close the bag right. is criminal behavior. And I'm and not saying that she's, well, she is, she's going to jail, but I'm not saying that she's a criminal. I'm saying that that is criminal behavior. Absolutely. That's all. I wonder, look, I wonder if looking back, they're like, mm -hmm. man, what did we miss? They missed something. I believe they missed yeah. something. Oh, there's they something had, in they that did. bed. They mm -hmm. did. Yep. It wouldn't have been a priority and it wouldn't have been so secretive. Get my purse. Like if it was just, Hey, get my purse. So it doesn't get, um, it wasn't taken. that. It was it not wasn't. like that. It was, nope. it was get my purse. Get, yeah. Put it in, zip up the bag, hide it, yes. hide it. Yeah. Yep. It was, yeah. Well, how long for you? Uh, they have to be here within 30 minutes per, um, policy. I'll get out. Yeah. I'll get her telling me. Just call my mom and have them to come to her because I got toe on my insurance. That's not how it works. No. Yeah, do that because they no need in them towing it. They just doing that being nasty. It was in the commission of a crime. They're, that's not how it works. Yeah, exactly. And if they are just doing it being nasty, geez, I wonder what energy they're projecting back onto you. Maybe yeah. if you weren't so nasty to them. They may have let your boyfriend take the car. Yeah. Damn, you're a dick. A dick and a half. What does that make that you? Actually, your supervisor. My God given right. You're, you rat. Is it a God given right? Is it a God given right? <laughs> you're God given right to see a super. I'm oh. pretty sure. That that's not in the Bible. I've read that. No. I, <laughs> I have two Bibles right there. Two of them. Oh, two I read up. both of them. It's not in there. I promise. It's not, it's not nothing about Being supervisors. The police officer's supervisor is not in the Bible. Nothing about them. Wish you had to throw me down like you throw me in them clubs, don't you? Road. You I have a disorderly female. Come oh, as bitch. She sideswiped another car in a roundabout at a low speed. And then she could she's acting like this supervisor, like grab her, take her to the jail. She's gonna continue because she's gonna try to we put her in cuffs and she started shoving against us again. And she just wouldn't listen. And we were told to bring her straight here. Y'all got bitches like this in this uniform. We would talk to you. Come on, okay. Just relax. But I promise y'all, I have no spit for this. I mean, I'll check you out. All right, so she was charged with resisting without violence. I have one more little tiny short story because you know I like to end it on a happy note. Um, but first, hey, have you? Whoa, why did it do that? Oh no, hold on. I oh no. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it like that. I did not mean it like that. I clicked the wrong button, which is usual for around here. Um, go to katiezed.com. We have all sorts of stuff there. This is the ad. And then I have one more story for you guys. katiezed.com. You can get, I need to change this featured collection. That was for July and August is already over. What am I doing? You can get all the Katie Zed merchandise right here. Uh, the True Crime with Xena t-shirt, which I love. It is so cute. Look at that. Look at how cute that. All different colors. All different. I should get one of these light blue ones. I was um, just going to say that. I like the light blue. It's very yeah. pretty. Um, this is an accurate representat representation of Xena during the show, by the way. Look at it. It is, for look sure. Look at that right there. That's exactly it how is, she It is. How it she is. Lays. Uh, True Crime with Xena featuring Katie Zed, because we all know you're here to see Xena, not me. You can get your... Um, not my how to get away with crime notebook. <laughs> so when we're watching all these crimes, you can obviously take notes on how to not get away with them. It's also got perforations in there in case you want to take notes and then pass them to people. You can do that. Or, too. or rip out the evidence and burn it. Uh, Either way. Yeah, I didn't think of whichever, that for whichever. sure. If you your know. dog needs a bandana with Xena on it, Look at that. True Crime with Xena featuring Katie Zed. Not only that, not only can you get all the Katie Zed stuff over there. Obviously, you can get that. It's katiezed.com. But you can get Iggy Normus Jr. stuff. You can get the Christ is King collection. By the way, 100% of the profits from this 
collection goes to onemorechild.org to provide Christ-centered services to vulnerable children and struggling families. Uh, you can get a coffee mug, Christ is King, uh, and every knee will bow, every tongue will confess, written on the backside. And that's on the back of all these t-shirts as well, by the way. I love these t-shirts. Uh, it was a collaboration between Iggy Jr., Let's Be Frank, and myself, and we decided to create these designs so that way we can make donations every month to onemorechild.org. Along with those, you can get the KFAR collection, Sunset Saints, and Patriot Jam. If you are a content creator and want to have merchandise but don't want to host it yourself, you don't want to do the designs or whatever, uh, give me a call. Actually, don't call me. Text me. Text me or email me. My contact information is in the channel description, and we can get you a collection on here as well. She's very good at it. She's I... very good at it do enjoy the graphic designs. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy it. Uh, and then you don't have to worry about, you know, all of that paperwork and like, all you know, all of the mundane stuff, all of that stuff. So last story, it's a short one. Meet LA County's smallest canine named Willowbrook. <gasps> this is I need to, I need to expand this. <laughs> you need to meet uh, Willowbrook. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the cutest dog ever. I know. <laughs> I love it. It's a baby. It's a little, it's just a baby. It's just a baby. <laughs> All right. Last week, we were introduced to the <laughs> LA County Sheriff's Department's smallest member. You're seeing her right here. And we instantly fell in love with her. She weighs just five pounds. Yes, she is small but mighty. And just like any other member of the team, she also shows up to work every single day. This is Willowbrook, but don't let her small size fool you. She, she is one tough pup. After She's overcoming adorable. a deadly disease when she was rescued as a puppy, she completed a rigorous training program to become the tiniest therapy dog in the L.A. Sheriff's Department. And joining us now is Willowbrook, of course, and her law enforcement technician, Jennifer Stott. Thank you so much for being here today. And thank you for thank having us. Thank you, Willow, for joining us. Um, you know, for those that didn't get to watch Tracy's story last week, can you please tell us how you, how Willowbrook came into your lives? Yeah, she was uh, uh, from up in Selmar, and she was just a little puppy up in the streets up there from a backyard breeder. And she was very sick when we got her, so we ended up uh, taking her in. And she went through a hospital. By the way, this is why you need to adopt. Don't shop because of backyard breeders and inbreeding and all of that sort of stuff. Adopt a dog, please. But I'll stay and manage to survive. And then we joined a therapy do dog organization that um, took her in and trained us. And we now deploy to the stations as needed. Yeah. And so now she's giving back to those that assisted her. Yes. She gets to go to the various bureaus, the various stations that we have countywide. She's gone to CHP, the fire department, uh, both LAPD and LA Sheriff's Department as well. And she'll do anything that she can to support any of the personnel that she's come through. Officer Stott, you know, we were talking about her vest and we have to say, she weighs five pounds again, I'm gonna say that. But with the vest, she's a total of six pounds. Is that correct? Yes. All right. <laughs> we're all enamored by this little vest. Talk to us about Pretty the cute. vest. The vest is from Amazon. It's a cat vest and uh, goodies uniforms was nice enough to help us out and ma managed to make it a little bit smaller so that it would fit us. Yeah. And uh, we've got it adorned with the different training patches that she's uh, completed a through AKC program and uh, our trainer organization is Blue Line Dogs. So they've put us through a certification program. What does the typical workday look like for her? Uh, well, we don't really have a typical work day. Some days we go in, we'll do dispatch, and it'll be, uh, she'll sit in the chair next to me, and any of the deputies that want to come in and have some time with her, they can come in and have some time with her. Uh -huh. And then uh, whenever I do other stuff, we do the mail runs or any, and taking the cars to the mechanics and stuff for our department. So she'll come tag along with me, and then if we happen to see somebody that wants us to come in the station, we'll go do a walk of their station as well and visit with their employees while we're there. Sometimes they'll call us for a... Uh, a large event that might be going on or a special uh, event throughout the department that's going on. We recently did our suicide walk mm -hmm. uh, for suicide prevention. And so it's, she just gets to come through. Now, does she get to go visit any other places such as hospitals or schools? Uh, she's a first responder therapy dog. So she goes anywhere that a first responder might be. Okay. So we have gone to hospitals. We have gone to a couple other things. Um, By the way, 
when I first heard it was a therapy dog, I'm like, uh, what the heck? Therapy uh -huh. dogs are kind of fake. Uh, uh -huh. But also, I think when you have children who are victims, having this little girl greet yeah, them. Yeah, that is pretty cute. That's it pretty actually, cool. well, I think it it probably helps a lot. You know what I mean? I think, yeah, that it, it's true. So it's I, true. I've come around on the idea of, of having therapy dogs in a job like this. Yeah. I, I'm going to agree with you. Mm -hmm. Typically, we don't do schools too much just yet. It's We have another organization that does schools uh, specifically to make sure that they can handle lots of children around. How do you know How do you know that uh, when a dog is ready to be a, a, uh, a therapy dog? They do a temperament test first to make sure that they'll be willing to allow random strangers coming up and petting them, mm -hmm. um, especially with a little one like her. We have lots of crowds that come up and they'll come mobbing her all at once to see her. So we do t uh, behavioral tests and temperament tests and... <laughs> and and she and I have to say that she was in our newsroom and we were all just smitten. We were so happy to see her. So I can see how that just really does change the atmosphere, right, in a yeah. work environment. Um, but one thing that we noticed is that she growls and you said that that's a good thing. Yeah, she's uh, very demanding now. She has learned who she likes and she's learned uh, several people in the different stations that we've seen. So if somebody tries to pass by her without saying hi, she'll growl to make sure that they know that she's down there. As she gets tipped over a lot being down so close to the ground all the time. She's got to feel so lucky to have you guys yes. and to have had that second opportunity. Absolutely. She loves going to work. She'll jump in the car anytime we go. And when the gates are opening for the station, she's sitting there trying to jump out of the car to go see everybody. So. And we've seen her in one of those patrol units. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she is such a small dog. She weighs absolutely nothing. But truly, she just puts on a smile. She gives yeah. everybody who meets her is smiling just because of what she offers. Absolutely. So, it's Willowbrook. <laughs> this is Willowbrook. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. She really does make a difference in so many people's lives. And thank, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you, right. Officer Scott. So uh, do we want to go to break or do really we want a fake cop? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That, Which is um, great. This is a great job for a female police officer. In my it opinion. is. Perfect. It is. Fake Absolutely. cop that um, <laughs> has a pretty cute dog. That <laughs> pretty cute. Helps pretty cute. Victims. Yeah. The dog The dog has a great job. But I mean, she's, she's just a fake cop. <laughs> <laughs> they both have a great job. Um, that's the show, guys. It is after 7 o'clock. Um, this actually ended up being a pretty long show. Do I have any tabs left to, to do on Thursday? Well, let's go over what we're doing, first of all. So, Thursday, uh, just so you guys know, number two and I changed the name of our show, which used to be called Friday Night Crime, but it is now called... Many such cases. Many such cases, because there are many such cases that we need to go over. Uh, also, we don't know if we can always do it on Fridays anymore. So many such cases will be on Thursday this week. It's going to be a great show. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I'm sure I have a lot of good body cam videos. So we'll probably do some some body cam videos. Uh, and then Friday, 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 Friday. Uh, by the way, are you available Friday? I, didn't I don't know. Uh, no, no. Game night Friday because right. I had a special request to do it on Friday instead of Saturday this week so or this month so we're going to do it on Friday. I okay. think we're going to go back to the uh, this one. Hold on. Oh, I think this is the game we need to play because we haven't played it in a long time. And I do sent I you. Have those? I think I have some. Do I think I? I sent you some of these cards so you can help read cards. So yeah, I'll look. I'll we're look. gonna play the dumb criminals game on Friday, and then of course every Sunday at four thirty Eastern, you can find me here, right here on this channel, Katie Z. I hope to see you all on Thursday, seven thirty p.m. Thursday. Uh, I'm stick around. Glad that you let me. Pop on today. Yeah. Um, by the way, number two, stick around because I'll show you the intro that I made today after the. Oh, okay. So stick around Sounds for good. a couple minutes. I will. Uh, but for right now, I'd like to thank you all for being here and I'm filibustering till I can get to the right. Okay. Got it. Bye, guys. See you Thursday. Bye. <laughs>
for new drills, needed a new track of land. I used to dig the Simpsons, man. Bumping Biggie Pop, Smash Mouth, and Simple Plan. No scrubs for the grease in my pimples, damn. From the soft streets of Southeast Michigan. Hit and shuffle till I settled on a different jam. And when a dime won't do a better nickel can. And let me tell you when I used to dig them Simpsons, man. A funny thing about time, you can't get it back A tight grip, but it rips the jacket Slight list with a mix of traffic You see about me, like Mr. Glass Always wished I was a wizard graphics Take me back to the past where the hits were massive You can hear Gladys Knight and the pips on plastic Misfit molasses Delete my contacts just so I can stick to glasses Feel that skipped out, so I miss the classics Aristotle of the bottle Seneca of the simple action Senator of the simple maxim I swear for a skill Skillful Saxon, I'm still relaxing. Who wanna take a dip in the mind sauce? Making up for the time loss. Forgetting all my past was when I sign off. Prime bribe, prime rib, Agent Smith, prime boss. Popping red pills to my minds off, minds off. Threw up that blue pill, moved to a new track I slew the foothills of that voodoo sap micro beach tape decks, I'll sift through that Cause I'll do anything to get the old Simpsons back Give me the news to make my mood react I'll swim through the sewer just to make it to the truth intact And you can shine up that voodoo with new shellac I'll still do anything to get the old Simpsons back but back Imagine thinking Karl Marx is new school Klingon like Kuzu. They welcome the ways they can bring on the boots, dude. Declare a major, they get paid to pollute you. Self-ashamed neighbors never.